Are we live? I think we're live. How's it going, big noobs? Yeah, I I'm late, okay? I'm late. To be fair, I was meant to set the stream for like five more minutes, and uh, I fat fingered, so ripperone. But we're here! We're a minute late! Oh no! Okay, then, you guys ready for the update? Penu- Wait, how do you say that? Penumagler? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that one is. You're not ready, damn. Why not, man? Why not? Why not? Yeah, what do you guys think of the um the leak is then? Do you guys think it's a like a new Lumians or do you think they're gonna be soul bursts? I've I've seen I, kinda close to 50-50 for both. So I'm kinda curious what you guys think they're gonna be. Let me just quickly dump my PvPs in my box. Lumians, where am I from? I'm not telling you, man. I don't want people showing up to my house. Heck no. Heck no. Both. Rayquanda. Wait, how did you how do you know the new um the name of the new Lumian? What? Rayquanda? How how did you know, man? You weren't meant to know that yet. Sub queso. Okay, man. That that is not fair to queso, okay? You're being mean to queso right there. <laughs> um, and you go there. We good. Calling Jimmy Queso is bald. I mean, yeah, that's not fair to Queso, bro. Rayquanda. <laughs> bro, that's a great name. That is a great name. Oh, yeah, we should actually go over to the um, UMV route. So, what should we check out first? Should we check out the UMV part of the update, or should we check out the arcade part of the update first? Which one do you think we should uh, check out first? Can I just teleport inside of here? Um, I'm gonna try. There's arcades? Yeah, we, um... We did a post about it. Wait, let me just double check. Yeah, <laughs> I had to double check. You, got, you scared me for a second. Yeah, we did um, a leak about it. UMV, our kid, our kid, our kid, do a poll. Oh, wait, I forgot about polls. How do I do that? Start a QA? No thanks. Start a poll. Which first? Okay, there we are. Vote in the poll, which we should do first. But yeah, that's we we already like um, leaked or teased the UMV. Zulong said it will finally be real. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Are we getting shards of the UMV update? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I uh. Let's just say I talked to Tibradam and Lando to try and get them in the game. I'm I'm not gonna leak anything, but uh, eh, uh, eh. Uh. It's Pro Pick when you copy an Odasho as the new Solbrus trio. Whoa, 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 whoa! How do you know that? How do you know that? When will Prope get some new moves? I think Prope is probably good, to be honest. Yeah, I, I think the arcade is uh, not going to be our first choice, okay? It looks like most of you guys want me to go check out the UMV first, so I guess we'll do UMV first, Len. I mean, the arcade update, like, isn't really going anywhere, so we can always check it out seconds. Do a Kunopia Soul Burst? I mean, honestly, I would be down for a um, Terrafly Soul Burst. Not sure about Terra Claw. Terra Claw is already like a little bit annoying to deal with right now because of how tanky it is. Imagine if it was even tankier. So I don't know about that one. I'm not sure about that one. Give Deku to Nally Gash after the slapdown nerf. Yep, that is plans. That is already plans. 
Do you have soul bursts? Do I have soul bursts? I mean, yeah, I got all of them. I, I definitely have all of them. You can lean more into the offensive side for a soul burst terror claw. Maybe, but I mean, I guess we'll see. Terrafly, I actually don't think would be a terrible soul burst slow. Like, Ter Terra Fly right now is pretty trash. I mean, it's already getting a complete rework with the uh, PvP 2.0. Also, in the uh, stats video I did, I completely forgot to um, put in Fishgana. I don't know how I did it, but I completely forgot about Fishgana. I skipped over it. Do a Wobblisk Soul Burst? Bro. I feel like Wobblisk is already pretty good. I don't know if I how I feel about giving it um, a Soul Burst. This is my PvP one, but I'm pretty sure I changed a little bit of it, and I don't entirely remember what I changed. So, oh no. It's not even out yet. Well, I mean, not yet. We gotta wait, man. The, t the timer is here, okay? Wobblisk is already tanky enough. There's no need. Exactly. Also, just because we did a Soul Burst Metronet doesn't mean we always have to do a Soul Burst Roamer, you know? I mean, look at Isogul. Isogul is a great Soul Burst, and Isogul, like, isn't inherently good. So, I like giving Soul Burst out to, like, the weaker Lumians, but it's, uh, I guess up to the artists. I have, like, a little bit of influence about, um, uh, like, what gets a Soul Burst, but it isn't going to be, like, always 100%. Although I don't really mind, like, whatever gets a Soul Burst, I can still work with it. When is Volcalo getting Lava Slash? I could probably just do that one as a rally move, I guess. The only issue is Crackloa doesn't really make sense because it doesn't have hands, but its Soul Burst does have hands. So th that one's a weird one. Cradle has hands, Crackloa doesn't, but Soul Burst Crackloa gets his hands back. So yeah, it it's, a it's a little strange, I'm not gonna lie. When will Dusky get pep jab? I don't think I've ever said he's getting pep jab, so probably not. Crackloa <laughs> could be just a Beyblade. I mean, it has got legs, and it is incredibly cursed. It, it is definitely cur cursed. Soldus Eliguana. Honestly, not a terrible idea. I kind of hope that eventually, Lo, we redesign Eliguana. So that one might be better to wait for the future, I think. Like, Eliguan is... Actually, I, I have one in my PC. Eliguan is, uh... Yeah. Not the best design. Gecklo is so much cooler than Eliguana. So much cooler. Fossil's getting sold, but bro, the update's gonna be out in five minutes, man. Why would I leak anything right now? Why would I do that? Hydralon Showcase? I probably won't showcase Hydralon until after the buff, to be honest. Like, Gecklo is like literally just like a tiny Reptar. How can you not love Gecklo? Eliguanalo? Yeah. Yeah. No thanks. Like, if, honestly, if this was just green, I pro would probably like it more. Zulong Snot Shot when? Oh no, don't worry, it's already getting Frostbeam. Don't don't worry, man, don't worry. Maybe out of order, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, honestly, out of order is way too good of a move for Sherbot. Sherbot does not deserve out of order. That's so, like, way too good for it. Might as well rename Arcade Update to Jemmy's favorite Lumion Update. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously, man, obviously. Is the update good? Well, uh, we got four minutes to wait, so I guess we'll see. Also, just because, like, I say it's good, I mean, some people might, uh, not like it. I mean, more opinion based. Please shave every Lumion that has fur. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna say no. That would probably make a lot of Lumias look really cursed. I I'm gonna say no to that one. Solber starters. Honestly, Solber starters would be really cool. 
I don't know when we're gonna do Limlo. I, I mean, all the, I, I'm down. I'm down for a Sol versus Oolong, but they don't really need them right now. Every starter is in like a pretty nice spot. They're all usable. I think the worst starter is what? Ember? And Ember isn't terrible by any means. Um, I think it feels similar to when the Weather Trio from Gen 3. Well, I guess you gotta wait and see, man. But yeah, I have been seeing that a lot, though. People think, like, they're um, a new Legendary Trio. Some people think they're Solbus or, what, Infernic, Skellic, and... What's the other one's name? Colossotrops. Which is also another pretty good guess. You just gotta wait and see, though. Also, John can run the free. The 500 batteries in my inventory. Oh, actually, speaking about that, do I even have batteries? But yeah, you have 500 batteries in my inventory. Your time has come. Let's go. LA key items? They are. I only have 261? Damn. I would say Seer Knight is the worst. That, that might be fair. That might be fair. I think Seer Knight and Himber are probably like the two lowest worst starters right now. All of the other ones are really good. I mean, Luminami will never not be good. It's just inherently always, always good. Tatab right now is the best one. Falkyrie's typing stats are really good right now. Vesperatu will probably never be bad. Zulong, I would say, is also one of those. Just speed tier is in a solid spot because I don't really introduce that many things that are faster than it, to be honest. So yeah, I guess it's just really Himber and Seer Knight right now that are kind of on the lower side of things. Both Vesperatu? No, Vesperatu is scary. Zulong is the worst, he needs a buff. I agree. So, out of order, Frostbeam, Landslide. What what else should we give it? Energy Break, might as well upgrade its Ancient Stab. What else should we give it? Join your server? Hey, nice. I mean, it's going to get shut down, so we're probably just going to get put into separate servers, but yeah. Yeah, Golem Health Form win? That would probably be really, really bad. Actually, thinking about it, if a Gargolem had 155 health and then what, like 40 or 55 defenses, that's probably just worse than Gargolem defense, right? That, that, I, I don't know about that, man. To be fair, Gargolem defense is already really annoying. I don't know how I feel about having Gargolem defense 2.0. I'm gonna say no to that one. No, I'm not gonna lie, gonna say no. Yeah, it's just basically wiki wiki with Earth Air. Please fix Hydrolon. Uh, what's wrong with Hydrolon's Adaptive Assault? I'm pretty sure it works. It's, it's just bad. That's kind of it right now. Hydrolon just sucks. And a. It's update time. It's update time. Holly Bunch has the best range attacker in the game. Or is the best range attacker? I mean, yeah, Holly Bunch is really, really scary. Especially if you uh, get it up in Benefists. Any balance changes? No, not in this update. Not in this one. The only new rally moves as well as the. Um, actually, no, I didn't even do that one this update, did I? Yeah, there's no new rally moves either. I was going to say that there was a rally move, but no, we're, we're pushing those back. The Eclipse didn't get its uh, new moves yet. Okay, then. Let's go check out the UMV. Why did you go so lackluster on buffing some of the bad stuff? Yes. Well, I mean, I can always change them in the future, low. Welcome back to the Plute Underwater Mining Lab. We've got some exciting news. An explorer from Atlantic City has discovered a new artifact at the bottom of the lake. He's brought his discovery back to uh, the Atlantic Museum, and they've put it on display. Gives you long Draco Beam. Honestly, eventually it probably will get Draco Beam. I think I've gave uh, Zulong a little bit too much right now, though. Probably gonna have to hold back on that one for a bit. 
You want to go for a dive? Heck no. Let's go for um, the museum first. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do Draco Beam Zulong right now. It makes a lot of sense, but yeah, I mean, Zulong's already pretty good. Most of needs Draco Beam. How many things have Draco Beam in the game? Lusadia? Novadeus? I'm pretty sure there's more. I'm pretty sure there's more. I just can't think of anything else that actually uses it. We voted UMV. No, you did not. You vote. Wait, we voted for UMV, not the museum. Oh, okay. I read it wrong. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You voted UMV, not the arcade. I misread it. I have like, I am very sleep deprived. I think I went to bed this morning at like 11 a.m. Don't talk about it, okay? I, I don't want to talk about it. Are you here to witness my greatest new discovery? I happened upon this ancient deception depiction while mining at the bottom of Laguna Lake. It may not look like it, but this painting is thousands of years old. Surprisingly, the painting hasn't faded at all. This suggests that it was made by the same ancient civilization that painted the Uller murals on display here. The paintings depict... I actually can't read. I m might have hit my head. I, I might be having a stroke. Ancient creatures that ruled over the sky, land, and seas. These ancient creatures must be extinct now by the feeling that I may someday discover their remains in that wondrous lake. Larry Nimmer, no. <laughs> I, I saw that in the comment, I thought there's no way this guy's being real, right? That, that is a terrible idea, I, I can't. In, on good con conscience, I can't do it. You see, Laguna Lake is chock full of ancient petrolists, making it a perfect place to search. Maybe thinking, but why hasn't anyone discovered them yet? I'll tell you why. Because nobody has used my newest invention, the Detect All. The Detect All is a device I created that is able to isolate artifacts of different densities than what the underwater mining vessel can detect using its basic instruments. That's how I was able to find these wonderful mural. Oh boy. Do Zulong actually get remodeled? Did it? Wait, 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 wait. Did, did it get remodeled? I want to share my dream with anyone who will share it the same way I do. Take this. Here, we got the detectol. So yeah, so now we can go get some new stuff from UMV, okay? So yeah, it should just be a key item, right? Yep. An impressive invention that enables you to discover previously impossible to find artifacts while aboard the UMV. I'm not reading that every time, okay? Underwater mining vessel, just UMV. Okay, where's Zulong? Where is my boy? Where is my boy Zulong? Okay, where's the uh, Alpha? Oh yeah. Okay, wh where's Gamma? Oh, he looks good. Yep, okay, time to give it love to it, guys. It's flying now, right? Let's give it love to it. It's, it's so good. What do you mean, ooh? Okay, you're all banned. You're all banned. He, they noodled him? I mean, yeah, it's a lot easier as well on Roblox now to actually animate, like, a, a slivering or, like, snake motion. That's why old Zulong was so stiff, because it really wasn't, like, that great to, uh, animate something like that. I don't really like it. I can't believe it. I, I can't believe you. Okay, let's go check out the UMV one. Let's go check it out. We've all got remodeled. Uh, is it the entire line that got remodeled? Is there an easy way to check this out? Uh, that definitely is not a new model. <laughs> that does not look like a new model. I think it's just Zulong that got remodeled. I think it looks good okay, but I like I like Zulong, so I might just be biased. Stills up is looking handsome as always. Honestly, a lot of the start to middle evolutions are pretty bad. <laughs> A lot of them are just like seem really, really outdated now, especially. Okay, let's go check it out. 
What did you learn? So he made a device that can take all wider range of unique materials. No way. Zulung is hitting that Rayquaza pose. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. But he's yellow. So that makes him better, right? That, that makes him better. Oh, that's a new piece immediately. Let's go. Actually, is that two new pieces? Oh, we did. Nice. Okay, this is just an old one. This is Infernix's. Anything else? Uh, yeah, there's also the arcade. We're gonna check that out after this, okay? We're gonna do a few UMVs, okay? Let's try and find all of the new stuff. Have Shaz been added to the UMV? Um... I, I guess we'll uh, have to try and find them, right? I guess we'll have to try and find them. Rayquaza is much larger than Zulong. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, we mostly just want the new stuff, right? We don't really care about any of this old lame stuff. Like, all of these are old ones. We don't want these. I missed that as well. I'm trash. Did they change the UMV environments? Uh... They might have. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been down here since I uh, revived like a 5,000 fossils. It's been like a year since I've actually visited the UMV. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Obtained an orange void stone, a petrolyph spiral bee, and a fossilized shard. Ooh. Yeah, shards are uh, in UMV, okay. Although, they're not 10 UP points. They're not 10, they're 2. They're like fairly like uncommon though, so like you should be able to get like quite a few of them. And especially now, because you can actually buy batteries from the um, arcades. So it's a lot easier to uh, get them now. That's horrible, what do you mean that's horrible? You can actually buy the batteries from UMV, so I mean you can get as many as you want. Oh. Oh, what is this one? I don't think I've actually mined this one up in the test server. Oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I actually didn't see that in the test server. I, um, did not mind that one up yet. All these old ones? Yep, yeah, all old ones. Just under Petrolith. A moss? I don't know what that one is, man. Haven't heard of that one. This guy looks useful. I see how it is. What do you mean you see how it is? What do you mean? Hey, you know shard. Nice. Okay, these are old ones again. Yep, you can find shards. They're not like the full, the, the normal ones, though. They don't give you uh, 10 UP points, unfortunately. But I think it's like a good middle ground. They're a lot more common and a lot easier to get your hands on than normal shards. And uh, these ones are like a lot easier to get, especially as a free-to-play player. What's the Skellic again? The Bonefish? You, you, you know that one? Oh, two shards. See? Shards are uh, a lot easier to get in here. Oh, and a new fossil. Can I unlock all of it? Nice. Fossilized Shard D? Which one's that one again? Oh, range defense. That's what it is. Range defense. Honestly, uh, I'm so sleep deprived. I honestly couldn't remember what deemed stood for anymore yeah uh this one's new i will take that the evolution of his guppy right yeah sure sure oh some people already found the the burb nice yeah nothing else in this one because i can't speak to it yeah, I went to bed this morning at like 11 a.m. I have had basically no sleep. <laughs> I, I have had like basically no sleep. 
I don't know why I keep doing it to myself. I fix my sleep schedule, and then I immediately broke it again. I know, I'm so smart. You can't get the detector. Uh, you have to go to the UMV first, talk to the diver NPC, then go to the, um... To the... Um, museum. 10 p.m.? No, 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 10... Oh, no, no, you mean 10, 10 p.m. now. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to bed this morning, like, 11 a.m., and I think I woke up at, like... all p.m.? So, yeah, I am, uh... Not good right now. I stayed up for, like, 24 hours, and then decided, yeah, 5 hours of sleep is good enough, right? Surely. Okay, last one. Give us something cool. That's pretty cool. Why have I given a Lumion 150 melee attack? Yes. 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 Okay. Can I actually make any of these uh, new Lumions? Let's see. <clears throat> um, I can't make any of them. No! Well, I know what I'm doing first, though. Let's go see what the Skellic looks like. I got the Skellic immediately, though, so I can't really complain, right? Now. Uh. <laughs> um. Where do I have the Skellic? I don't think I've really used a Skellic in a very long time. Oh yeah, I gotta do mastery as well. Ugh. Okay, where's the skellic? Where's the skellic? Do I go past it? Oh, there we are. That's the alpha one. Okay, well, I, I guess I only... Do I really only have an alpha one? There's no way, right? There's no way I only have an alpha one. Wait, is that actually the only, like, PvP one I have? Uh, yeah. That is the, that is the only Skellic I have. Dang. I guess I just... You Skellic once and then never again. Please help, no NPC in the museum. Did you talk to the NPC in UMV first? Also Speeder, oh, not Speeder, I eat. I don't know why I read your name as Speeder. There's literally nothing surrounding your name with Speeder. I have no idea <laughs> why I called you Speeder. Why is Solbert Skellic error with no description? Look at DMs. Okay. Oh. Wait. <laughs> um. Give, give me one second, let me just double check Solbus Skellic's uh, ability really fast. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, we, we did forget it. Error. No! Damn it! Why does it work? But yeah, this is the Solber Skelly. Well, I just DM'd you, but I'm okay. He will fix it. He will get onto it. So yeah, let, let me know if there's any like other bugs you guys find, and I'll make sure to DM you, but I'm for the stats. Here are the stats. There are your stats. Yes, it does get a little bit slower, okay? It does get a little bit slower. 
it gets a lot bulkier, it hits a lot harder, and it becomes a little bit slower. Um, the ability actually doubles its speed though in a Heavy Rainstorm. So you probably are going to want to pair this one up with probably Deladrix. The only issue is we don't have the weather abilities yet. So you're probably not really going to use Solber Skellix ability that much right now. Yeah, basically a Swift Swim. Also, John can move another free. Brutal Wrath, your attacks are always critical when poisoned. Yes. I don't know why you put that in here, though, John. Did you copy and paste the wrong thing? Yeah, that is a Solda Skellic though. I, th I think it's, I think it'll be pretty good. I think it'll be pretty good. What's the ability? Um, it doubles the speed when rain is active. Basically, a Swift Swim. When are the abilities? The abilities are in the game. It's just that one's broken for some reason. That one is broken. Oh, what's Heedless Rush? Oh, 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 let me go do that again. I completely forgot about that. I was so worried about the, just the ability being broken. Here, I'll hop back in, okay. Oh, do you mean the weather abilities? Weather abilities will hopefully come with thunderstorms whenever lows are going to be. I'm not entirely too sure when thunderstorms weather is going to be available, though. Um... I would want it sooner, to be honest. I'm ready for it whenever. Does every fossil have a soul burst? Um. Oh yeah, here, here you are, by the way. So Skellic is the only one that has a soul burst with this update. We didn't want to go too crazy because I feel like uh, we've already like added in quite a lot. But yeah, here's Heedless Rush. So if the opponent has like a scapegoat. You it, it plays like Hyper Sting. You break the scapegoat, and then you hit one. What happened to Zulong? We gave it a new model. It finally got an updated model. About time. I mean, I think normal Zulong is pretty good, like the first iteration, but the new one is so much better. PvP 2.0. I don't know when we're going to be releasing that, but we're... Keyword is still working on it. There's still like quite a bit to do, but I mean we've already like made a lot of progress. And I mean a lot of like the new things that are gonna be in PvP 2.0, we've already put in the game. Like um the new like experience level dot like pop up, the new like movie learner. We've like been putting a lot of new stuff in the game. Solbus Joltooth, that would be a scary one right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't that one be like a really scary one? But yeah, here's the uh, Zulong. Had to get the Skelly Sol uh, Skelly Solber Stone. You get it from uh, mining. Once you've upgraded your mining, there's a chance you can get it. It is fairly rare though, because you only need it to get it once. So it might take you a couple of dives to get it. Are they adding Solbus every update now? Uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll definitely like, try and do Solbus whenever we uh, can. I'm not gonna say like every update low. That isn't like really up to me. So, yeah. Time to use your fault to UMV dies. I have from the roulette. Dang. Well, good job you saved them up, I guess, for this time. Like, update. Is there a bug? There is a bug with um, Solba Skellix ability. <laughs> it just doesn't work. You got a big fossil piece. No spoilers. Oh, I feel like people already found that. But uh, yeah, we don't want to like spoil it for many people right oh I see one back there I'm taking all of these shards even though I don't really need them I also want the new fossil pieces low I keep getting all of the old ones low 
Like, that is uh, not a new one. That's not a new one. That is low. I will be taking this. How many new ones? How many new fossils? There's a... There's, there's a few. There's a few. There's definitely a few. New legendaries? Maybe there is. Maybe there is. He's got Nautiling A. Uh, yeah, that one is actually the new weakest Lumion. <laughs> so Singiel has a 200 base stat total. Nautiling also has 200 base stat total. It is tied for the new weakest Lumion. Let's go. Why would you give to Clips peace of mind? Uh, does it already have peace of mind? I don't think it does, does it? But let me just double check. Did I already change it? Oh yeah, it has peace of mind now. Uh, I changed Eclipse's level of moves in preparations for uh, PvP 2.0. So yeah, Eclipse actually has peace of mind now as a level of move, but I don't know if it's really worth making an entirely new Eclipse because it is getting changed in the future. So it's up to you, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot that I changed the level up moves. Have you tried to make a PvP god pay? No, and I probably won't. <laughs> not gonna lie, probably not a good idea. Use power fruits to show evos? I will. I think I, I have quite a few power fruits. If not, I can just go buy some more. We gotta actually get the new fossils though first, you know? We gotta like actually get them. Mm -hmm. Also, um, Dead Reaver coming another 35 months. What's a uh, Morphezu? A bird. That is as simple as I can put it without uh, spoiling what it is. Just a bird, okay? Behemoth TP train is broken. What, what do you mean? How so? I don't. I don't. I can't see the TP breaking just for uh, one Lumi specifically. That seems a little weird. Oh, that's new. It looks really cool. Shame is indifferent. You didn't use harmonize? No. Duskit harmonize is a hundred percent. Get a get a duskit. Get one hundred percent. Get a duskit. Did cash get reset? I don't think so. Yeah, Solbus Skellix ability is bugged. I've already told T about it. He's fixing it. He's fixing it. No, there are no mints in the subdit. Get a dusk, get easier said than done. I mean, how long has the game been out low for? I mean... I I'm not using the right dusk for these, but see. I can make some. Let's go. Okay, we'll make you. And we can make both of these. So yeah, so if you don't actually know, you, you, so you can see that um, both of these ones have like a pink and blue shard. You actually use both of them. Three Lumias revived. Yeah, I don't think any of them were alpha. You're the Atmos one? A nice one. But yeah. We got the Nautiling. So yeah, this is actually the new weakest Lumion in the game. 200 based at total. This thing is weak. <laughs> this thing is so weak. And then we got the uh, new Dinos. Oh yeah, uh, typing wise. 
This is Ancient Simple. We got um, Ancient Air, Utina, 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 whichever we want to call it. And then it starts. Yeah, I think this is meant to be a Nautilus. Nautilus. And then we got uh, the Nile. So yeah, these guys' stats are practically the exact same, just one difference, and that's just the defenses being switched. Abilities? Oh yeah. Nautiling has Protective Shell, the one I got. Uh, Utina has Triumph, which, yes, Trumble is also going to be getting later on. It doesn't have it yet, though. And then Venel has a Venomness. When you attack an opponent with a move that makes contact, they may become poisons. Stop ruining Lumios with simple typing? What do you mean? What do you mean? Just get good, man. Just get goods. Okay. Let's uh, level these dudes up. I only have 25 power fruits. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go buy some more. What's up, Darv? What do you do for their nature? I mean, you probably want to see the final evolutions first. You good? Yeah, I'm just really tired. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to bed. <laughs> to be honest, I can't wait. Summarize update for it. A new UMV update and new arcade update. Basically, as like much as I can summarize it. Can I just end the stream and sleep? No. We got work to do, man. We got work to do. Okay, give me some power fruits. Uh, that might be enough. I guess we'll see. Okay, which one should we evolve first? Probably just the Nautiling one. Okay, that is definitely not enough. I'm gonna need more power fruits, I think. Utina, because it sounds cooler. We'll do that one next, okay? You still have another Lumi to get? There are some more things that we're gonna go get, but uh, they're uh, a little bit rarer than what we've just got. <clears throat> the Nautiling evolved into Knockout. Let's go! And Nautiling learned how to use Shadow Box. Nah, we'll do that later. What is that? It's a uh, knockout, man. Okay, and let's do these ones now. Nope. How do you get Solba Skellic? Once you unlock the uh, UMV upgrades, you can just find it in the walls. It's pretty rare, though, like fairly rare. Although, you only need to get it once. Utina evolved into Utine. Okay, we've got to buy more power fruits now as well. You somehow got a secret- Wait, you got a secret ability one already? Oh yeah, uh, by the way. Um, in case you don't know, you can actually get secret abilities now as free-to-play players. It's not, like, super common, so I mean, it's still gonna take you a long time to actually get secret abilities as a free-to-play player, but at least now you can actually get one. I'm pretty sure you can get secret abilities from the wild and fossils as well now. Why didn't you give Bewand Darken Mind? Yeah. I don't think it really makes that much sense to be Dark type. I think Mind is fine. I mean, Type plus, I mean, makes a lot of sense. Or simple, I guess, now. Utine looks like he needs an evolution. That's mean, man. Wow. No, we don't want the moves. 
Eugene looks in complete fine. I'll level it up again. See if it evolves again. Okay. Why are we not adding walls when there's a problem in the meta? Because I design stats based on the Lumia's designs. If they don't look tanky, they're not going to be tanky. That's uh, kind of the simple answer for it. Yeah, Skellic is the only new Soul Burst in this update. We might add some Molo in the future. I guess we'll see. Because we can add them whenever we want now. Near enchantments. Oh, and it does evolve again. Why is Venile Ancient Toxic, but Rancidor is Toxic Ancient? Yes. All of the fossils are ancient first. And then there's like secondary typing is what they specialize in. You Typhoon. Will Frostvale be Ice type or Dark type? Yes. I uh, you gotta wait and see, man. Why why would I leak that right now? Big Dino. Yeah, I, I thought people would probably like it. I'm actually not too sure what dinosaurs are meant to be based on. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember their names. Verinosaur. Okay, bro, you're a little bit too close. I'm I'm just saying. Bro is a little bit too close. The new shards give you two UPs, yet it's not a lot, but they're a lot more common than normal shards, so I think it's fair. Get knockouts. Uh, let me get its new move, Shadow Box. Shadow Box is basically bulk up, but melee attack and range defense instead. So, yeah. Also, here are its stats as well. Actually, no, those aren't even its base stats. Let me go for base stats. This thing is very bulky on the melee side. Range defense low, not super good, but I mean, it's carried by the health. So yeah, Shadow Box is bulk up 2.0. We got some new protects, Ruffle Feathers. Uh, actually, I guess we can just go to the stats page first. So for Ruffled Feathers, it's basically protect, like, um... What's that one move that female calf note gets? You know, like, like protect if they're hit with a range move, that ra that range attacker gets hit a little bit? It's kind of like that. So, if you use Ruffled Feathers and someone hits you with a range attack move, you will clear your side of the field of entry hazards. Tone Barrier, that's what it is. These are from UMV, by the way. And then Barb Trap is basically Ruffled Feathers, but for contact moves. If you use Barb Trap and then you're hit by a contact move, the opponent will get poisoned for it. Oh yeah, and then the stats. There are your stats. Yeah, I think it's meant to be a Spinosaurus. I don't know what this one's meant to be, though, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's a T-Rex, although... I don't know. I, I don't know. But yeah, there's the stats for the uh, Ancient Air one. And then here are the stats for the Ancient Toxic one. They're basically, like I said, the exact same. The only difference is the defenses switch. So this one has 95 melee defense and 56 range defense. Because this one has the opposite. Arc players are going crazy. I mean, I like all of these designs. These are some really, really cool designs. What fossils are them? Uh, do I actually have any of them left? I might have used a lot of them. Uh, we got Skull. So these two are Skulls. And Spiral is the Noculus one. Or oh, the walking animation. Sure, I can show them. 
Bro has a bruised eye. No. Bro, bro is ready to box low. We're missing one? Yeah, we gotta go back. We don't have all of them. I uh, just evolved the ones that we got immediately. Y'all better give them saddles. I mean, hey, you gotta talk to Lando okay about that one. Lando is the guy that does the, um... The saddles. I forgot what they were called for a second. A Utru... I don't know how to say that. So it's not a T-Rex, it's something similar. Yes. <laughs> Basically. T-Rex, but burb. Yeah, let's just put all of these here for now. Okay, back to diving. What's the new arcade items? Are they any good? The, the, the only new arcade item is the batter. There's no, like, PvP items in the arcades. There's no new ones. Uh, show the stats of the air one. Oh, the air one is the exact same as the toxic one. Just switch the defenses. You can just go back in the stream, like, a minute. A hundred on Zulong is impossible. Nah, 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 nah. When, when we get there, okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pull the pro gamer move. A Velociraptor? Is that what it is? I think one's a Spinosaurus, right? I don't know what the other one is. I don't think it's a Velociraptor. I think YOLO made them, by the way, so we, we just need to go ask YOLO. A huge Hyranesis? How do you even say that? Why can't I click on the star? How do you even say that? I'm not gonna lie, I have never heard of that dinosaur before. A U Tyrannus. Oh! I've never heard of that one before. Not gonna lie. Oh, easy two new fossils. Let's go. How do the fossilized shards work? Uh, just like normal shards. They just don't give you as many UPs. They give you two instead of ten, but they're a lot more common to come by. <clears throat> Oh, oh, <laughs> nice. That is what we like to see. You obtained Petrolith Aquatus. I think this might be my favorite of the, uh, the Titans. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, we need these. So yeah, so now the issue is, I gotta try and grind a thousand of every fossil again for a nuller fossil opening video. That is gonna take me for freaking ever. <laughs> I don't know how long that's gonna take. Maybe a year? Maybe a year. Can you get more than one of them? Yes, you can get more than one. Um, Knockout's evil mastery is bugged? How so? I haven't even... I, I didn't test that. I think someone else tested that one. <clears throat> oh, don't mind that. And the shout as well. What is the Titan? Isn't that what they're called? I thought that's what the leak referred to them as. Um, did we not like refer to them as Titans? Did I just like make that name up? 
you know, the, the, the reveal does say Titans. This peculiar artifact depicts powerful Titans. Yeah, that, they're Titans. You guys are gaslighting me, okay? I thought I was going crazy for a second. Just I thought I made up an entire new name for them that didn't exist. He's got a Titan Shroud. Nice. We'll try and look for all of them, but uh, it might take a while. <laughs> it might take me a little bit. Why am I going back this way? I just came from here. Is there anything else other than the Titans? I mean, yeah, I've shown a few of them off. But yeah, so uh, tomorrow's stream, we will definitely be trying to like gamma hunt some of these. Definitely. We're not going to like worry about that today, though. We just want to like unlock them and check out the update, though, alright? Maybe maybe to like collect a few ready for tomorrow, because we're going to do mastery. What is a titan? Yes. I will show you right after I've done this dive. How many new lumens are there? Um, I know, but I'm not gonna say because I don't think they've all been discovered yet. I will wait. Is that new as well? I think it is. That's a sh that's a shard. Yeah, it's cooking this update, bro. We're always cooking, okay? We're always cooking, especially recently. The recent updates, oh boy. Okay. So yeah, th this uh, is a Titan Shard, by the way. Like, look at the size of it compared to a normal one. It is, uh, yeah. It's the only thing you need. You don't need, like, pieces of them. You just need one of them. Leviatros. Bro, look how derpy it looks. It's so short. <laughs> it's so short. Size doesn't matter. I mean, uh, yeah, size doesn't matter when you have 150 speed stat, right? I mean, yeah, when you have 150 base speed, I don't think it would matter either. It's ugly. How dare you? How dare? I think this is probably my favorite one. Of the titans to be honest i like all of them but i like this one what have i done yes well hey people were complaining that i wasn't giving anything higher speed than zulong so here you are okay here you are now we have something faster than zulong it's not yeah i mean uh i was gonna say it has a really low defenses but it has like a pretty good health stat so i mean eh this might be overkill. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. I did kind of go crazy on these guys. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, yes, this has Romer stats. This this has a base stat total of 650. However, with the PvP 2.0 update, these guys aren't getting any more stats. These are going to stay at 650. We have like so many different Romers. Like we've got Adventure Romers, Event Romers... I'm going to make these ones, like, a different class. Like, Titans are going to just be 650. I think that's fair. Oh, yeah. Ability. The strength of your water type moves is boosted by 25%. Not really pseudos. Just Titans. That's the classification for these guys, is that they're Titans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that freaking text. Okay, I might just read it in here. A specialized move which changes type based on your primary typing. The move becomes a melee attack if your melee attack is greater than your range attack. So it's, it's melee or range, depending on which that is higher. This move grows stronger for each healthy Lumion on your team which shares its typing. I went all out for these guys, okay. I, I, I kind of went all out. Yeah, so basically, the typing changes to whatever type you are. It is a melee attack if your melee attack that is higher, range if your range attack is higher, and for every, like, for example, this one's the water type one. For every water type I have in my party, the power will go up by another 25 power. 
So it should be 50 base power, and because Leviathan is a water type, so it's it should be starting off wise 75 power, and then every water type you add on, it gets a nuller 25 power. Although obviously the issue with that is, do you really want like an entire water type um, pseudo team? A, a type like what are they called? Is it type pseudo teams? A pseudo type team? That seems something about right. So yeah, the, the downside is also if you want to unlock like the full power of that move, you're gonna want to run like a lot of the same type things, which monotype, that's what it is. I don't think you really want to run a monotype team, but I mean yeah. 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 Oh yeah, um every Titan has that move as well. <laughs> every Titan has that move as well. I did go a little crazy with this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think this should be fine though, right? I think we'll be fine. I, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. No, no, no. So, it doesn't count if it's benched. It only counts your active party, not your bench. I made sure that was specific because that would be a... Uh, I, 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 I'm fine with like kind of broken. I feel like... Including your bench low is just straight up broken. The Titans are 650 base stat totals, and with the PvP 2.0, do you like the base stat total increase that I'm doing? They're not changing. So adventure rumors are gonna go up to 700s, event rumors are gonna go up to 675, items are just gonna stay at 650. That's a nice sweet spot for them, I would say. So yeah, they are a new, like, roamers, basically, Lou. They're probably all gonna be Ubers. Another one?! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, we're gonna save this one, okay? We don't need to use this one right now. We got another one! Okay. I mean, I kinda wanted the other ones, you know, but I mean, sure, I guess I'll take that one. I mean, I did say it's my favorite one, but I mean, I kind of want the other ones as well. Well, the stats, we'll go over them again once we get all of the other ones. We gotta grind for them low. What's the chances? I don't exactly know what the in, like, odds are, but they're fairly rare. They should, I think on average, it took us like around three, four, or five dives. Uh, so like, I think it's like around roughly like every three or four dives you should get like one of the Titan fossils. I don't talk about four walls, I mean four dives, like four batteries worth. Like they're fairly rare. Not like super super rare, and especially now like because you can just buy batteries. I think that's fine, right? I think that makes a lot of sense. Does the air fossil have perch? I'm not gonna lie. I um I did the Titans stats, moves, and abilities a long time ago. So it might have perch. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot. It has been a long time since I did them. Yes, yeah, Skellic is the only soul burst uh, in this update. I specifically requested Skellic because, yeah, I feel like it is the most deserving of a soul burst from all of the fossils. Oh yeah, the ability doesn't work, nullify. Uh, Tiberdem is gonna be fixing it. It might be fixed in new servers already. I guess we'll see. Solbus Colossotrops. Now you see. I'm not really too sure what to do if uh, Colossotrops were to get a soul burst. I'd have to think outside of the box for that one. You have a PvP Skellic? Oh yeah, uh, I guess I could have actually done Skellic's uh, ability change in this update, couldn't I? Um, I was meant to change one of its abilities to Brute Force. I think it was meant to be Bitter Touch. Completely, like, forgot about that. 
I probably could have done that in this update. But yeah, Skellic is going to get Brute Force later on. I'll probably just save it now for PvP 2.0, I guess, at this point. <clears throat> Are there any fossil lumions in the new update? Yep. We've been finding a bunch of them. No, it's right there! Damn it. Okay, back down. What determines the Nautilus evolution, since I got the one last Ancient Mind? Oh, um, I don't know. There is definitely something, though, that um, makes it evolve into each one. <sighs> What's the ability to be for Solar Skellic? Um, if there's heavy rain weather, it will double your speed. So basically, it's Swiss Swim. How big do the Titans look? Oh, I will um, show you, show them off when we're out of here. We just use the battery, so we gotta wait until we get out now. I, they're definitely like bigger than like the normal average Lumion. They're not like a crazy size low. They're not like a complete crazy size. You got a Solbus Skellic Crystal? Nice. I actually got really lucky. I got like a, on my first wall. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep. The Bird Roamer has 150 range attack. Oh, I did see one. Hey, I think it's our first um, attack, Shard. Oh my gosh, what a wall. Three new pieces. Your mental? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will all of the um, new Lumions keep their stats? A couple of them will change. But for the most part, I, I've, like, the Nautiluses won't get a stat increase. The Dinos will probably just get a range attack increase low. Like, not really, like, much of a change. And the Titans aren't changing at all. Where can I find the Bird Roamer? You gotta mind for it, man. It is just... Pretty uncommon, or rare, I should say. It's fairly rare to get. So it's gonna keep diving. I'm gonna keep going until we get all of them low. <clears throat> Petition to let us breed fossils? No? <laughs> I'm gonna have to say no. We do not need uh, very nimble, nimble smarts. Or whatever, okay. We don't need those. The fossil roamers are pretty strong, I would say. What are all of the secret abilities? Uh, we'll go over that later. I don't have them all on me right now. But for the Titans, they all have they all share the same ability. Secret ability. It's called All Seeing. That should probably just give away what it does. For all the Titans, I'm gonna probably say the normal ability is probably better. Mm -hmm. Or at least I, I would say so. So John, can we run another free? Did Volklo's ability get changed? No. Volklo's not getting triumph. Volklo is probably gonna get uh guerrilla tactics later on. It was Trumble that was meant to get triumph, and I haven't done that one yet. That one will probably be later. You know how to encounter the other fossils yet? Just go to mine. Why isn't the museum guy there for me? Did you go to the UMV first? 
You have to go to the UMV first and talk to the uh, diving NPC. Then you go to the museum. Your mic is going out. Uh, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be unless it's just glitching for some reason. Buying a book. Hey, I appreciate it. Hubert. Can Gastro get Coconut Bomb? I mean, even if it were to get it, it probably wouldn't use it. Audio is glitching. What, well, my audio? Audio is glitching. What, well, my audio? No, my audio sounds fine. How fossil shards work? You don't need multiple parts. You just need the big one. What does all seeing do? It makes all of your moves um, 101% accurate, so they will never miss. Is glitching out? I don't believe you guys. You guys are trolling. You guys are trolling. I don't believe you guys. really cutting out what's up with his audio now nah, you guys are you guys are trolling you guys are trolling come on man how long do you think i've been doing this for how long do you think i've been doing this for come on Only two titans? Uh, no, no. There is definitely three of them. I just have only found one of them so far. <clears throat> Draco Beam Cedric. No. Just because something has Anomaly doesn't automatically mean it's gonna get Draco Beam. No thanks. No thanks. Gonna say no to that one. I'm gonna try Zulong. Yes. Uh, I actually got the high score on the test server. I'm pretty good at it. I might suck low it right now because, like I said, I'm sleep deprived, so I'm probably gonna just fail at it non stop. Uh, Skellic Soul Burst ability will double its speed in rain. Basically, Swiss Swim. <clears throat> Yep, Zulong also got a remodel. If the Titans are too strong, will I nerf them? Yeah. I mean, Glissadia is too strong, and that's getting a nerf as well. So, if they are too strong, I will definitely look into them. But, I don't mind if something's too strong for a little bit, let people have some fun with it, and then nerf it. I'm not going to go like crazy and nerf it immediately. I was all like, people have fun with uh, a new Lumion, right? Are mints gonna come out with PvP 2.0? No idea. I would like mints, but it isn't up to me if we get one. Question, what skulls you need to unlock the items? Should we go uh, check out the arcade or should we keep going for UMV? Which should we do? Also, for people asking me how big the titans are, this is how big it is. Like, they're, pr they're pretty big. I mean, next one, Infernix. I'd say they're pretty big. <coughs> <coughs> oh. 
arcade. Probably arcade. Okay, we'll go to the arcade then. We'll go back. We'll go back to Leon Velo. We aren't. We aren't done yet. We are not done yet. Let's go ace the arcade machines. <clears throat> How do I get Skellix all burst? It's just in the wall once you upgrade it. It's just fairly rare low, but once you get one of them, you don't need to get another one. Okay. Uh, we might as well do Pro Paper Mall first, right? We might as well. Chris Super, already 162? Dang. So yeah, you basically on this one, you don't want to hit the Corrupted ones. The Corrupted ones will give you minus points. There's a Zulong saddle. There is a Zulong saddle. You gotta get to a hundred low on um the Zulong minigame. Oh, this one I think you have to get to fifty thousands. There's no way we don't get to 50,000, right? Hopefully we do. Oh yeah, we got we get we got it. <laughs> we got it first try. Ooh. You can hold this down as well. I don't know if I'm a big kind of holding it down low. Oh. Well that was easy. Number four, baby. You can just hold it down, you don't really need an auto clicker. I prefer clicking low because uh, the the timing is kind of thrown off a little bit. Wait, is that all I need? Okay. Nice. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks again, John, for the free again. You can use an auto-clicker of that. I don't know if it's really worth it, low. Check knockouts. Master it. Okay, let me quickly do that. Knockouts. 20,000 experience. Um, yeah, that's done. That's done. Discover all evolutions. Oh, yeah, that's not bugs. That is not bugs. And auto clicker is bannable. I mean, I'm saying you can just hold it down. You don't need an auto clicker, even if you were to get one. Hey, Propay. <laughs> How's it going? What do you mean it's not bugged? I mean, there might be another one. I mean, people have already found it out. I'm not going to tell you exactly low how to get it. Bro, Prope, where are you going, man? Come back. Come back, man. Okay. It's zoo long time, okay? It's zoo long time. Uh, let me just double check. Am I blocking anything? Not really. It's a zoo long time. Ooh. It's snake? Yeah. It's female and it's ancient mind. Is it female though? Is it? Is it low? How many levels? Um, there is a max level for this thing. For the saddle, you only need a hundred blue. I say only a hundred, it is pretty difficult to get a hundred if you uh, aren't super good at snake. Hundred is too hard. 
Yeah, it might be a little bit too hard. We'll see. If it is too hard, we'll probably nerf it and uh, reduce it a little bit. Ooh. Gonna take a while. Yeah, it definitely picks up blue. You can see it's getting a little bit faster. Level 50 is the max speed, by the way, just to make sure that you guys are aware. So once you get to level 50, that is the maximum speed. It doesn't get any faster than that. Kind of making mistakes here, but I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah, by the way, you can actually queue up moves as well. You can like queue, I think it's just two moves. If I press down, I can press left immediately after to um go left like immediately on the next turn. Ooh, okay, let's start taking our time, okay, now. We've kind of, like, rushed for quite a few of the power fruits. Let's take my sweet time. What's that from that one? Uh, Titans are just going to stay at 650, by the way. Titans aren't going to go up to 675. They're just going to be... That, that really sucks. They're just going to stay at 650. Bro, the power fruits are trolling me. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, we hit max speed. So now we can just take our time. Frick. And as soon as I say that, this one's a, a little bit tough, I think, whenever you're like streaming it. Try go try hard mode, just turn off camera, just mute. As yeah, as soon as I say you've gotta go we we can take our time, I just immediately die. No. Opium. I mean, hey, I have the high scholar okay on the uh, test mode. We're just gonna go get it now on the real version. The UMV has um, so many roamers now. I mean, the UMV only has three roamers. Let's just speed in the first fifth. Uh, if I mess up, I mean, does it matter? Not really. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's a uh, rather unfortunate placement. We gotta start sneaking a little bit to uh, get free from this corner.
As Drowned was new, uh, we got a new UMV update and a new arcade update. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Nice. Oh, come on, man. That is cheating. You can't just put it there. Gotta go all the way around now. That's also cheating. Come on. How do you want to be remembered? What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean, man? That's fine. So yeah, I think for like the early stages, you want to like leave the edge corners, like all of the corners and uh, like outsides area open just so you can go around if you make a mistake or if the power fruit spawns above. <clears throat> or at least that's, that's what I've been doing. Like here, because it's above us, there's no rush. We can just snake all the way up there. Give us as much room as we need. That is a bit cringe. <laughs> that is a bit cringe game. We can take our time here alone now. We can just go all the way down to the bottom. Once our tail is caught up, we can just put down. Caught up to the bottom. We can go to the top now. This is a mistake, but I'm going to do it anywhere. That's not exactly a great idea to do because. No, I just, I can't go back that way unless I, uh, snake all the way down. What are fossilized shards? Yes. Uh, they basically give you, like, two UPs. They're basically normal shards, but mini. So yeah, it's a good idea, though, whenever you're snaking, to get every single piece. The power fruit can spawn anywhere on the maps, as long as your body isn't occupying a space. But it's a good idea, like, whenever you're at this level, to, like, take up as many spaces as possible in your snake, just so it can't really spawn behind you. We can take our time here. We can just go all the way down. One more. And then we can get it going back up. That one sucks, low. Just gotta take our time. And now I can go down. It's gonna have to reach out right now on this level. Once it gets to like level 50, it's a little bit too fast. Yeah. We'll get that one really fast. All the way around. messed up. There's a little gap there. That's fine, Lou. I did it again. I, I did it early every single time. No. Ah, we'll be fine. We can just get it on the way down. 
what level does the raptors evolve uh level 24 and 40 i think that seems about right okay, we can just get up there quickly now yeah. and we can grab it on the way down that is why you should fill up every gap damn it All the way to the bottom again. We count in slow with this one. Yeah, I mean, we're going really fast, but if the power fruit like spawns behind your entire body, yeah, it takes a while. And especially like, since we're this long now, there's no like rushing. Like, we don't have to rush because one mistake is deadly. We gotta be careful as well not to like block any of the outer rim now either. If I block the outer rim like I'm doing right now, and I need it later on, we gotta be super careful. We can go to the top now and start going back down. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I can't believe I missed that. I did it again! I'm panicking, no, I'm so close. Let's try again. Thank you, I got it. Okay, now we've got to be very careful because you can see that I cut off one of the corners or like one of the outer areas. So we got to like snake all the way here now and then go up this way. Okay, we can go down now. Oh yeah, we hit 100 by the way, but we might as well go for a high score, right? Yeah, time to go down. All the way to the bottom. We're still like on mid-level low still right now, so it's still like the same strategy as we're doing right now. Just make sure you uh don't use the outer areas as much as possible. Just use, like, the inner ones. I think once we get to, like, 150 low is when we want to start using, like, the late game strategy. Ah, I messed up. I went a little bit too soon. All the way to the bottom again. Okay, 
it. I'm gonna go all the way to the top this time, low. Want to make sure my snake is as far away from me as possible. Top ten now, nice. Pretty awkward spot. I gotta go all the way around for that one. Ah, I can't get that. I have to go all the way around. If I went for that one, it'd be game over. Because I, I couldn't go anywhere. There's no escape from that one. Okay, uh, it might be time for high strategy, late game strategy now. Yep, I think it might be time for a high strategy. That is a really unfortunate placement. I physically can't get that until uh, I go all the way around. Okay, we're gonna do a high strategy now, okay? We wanna use every gap now. This way, the power fruit will never spawn behind us. It will only spawn in front. Basically, we want to like take up every gap except from the right side. And if we mess up once now, we're, it's game over. If we like block that one path on our right now, it's just immediately game over. Like that, that, that that's unfortunate. If the power fruit spawns there, we can't get it now until we go all the way around again. I kind of wish my Zulong was going downwards instead of upwards. I prefer going down. But this is fine. Okay, I'm going to make a... Rick, I did it too late. It's fine. We'll go for that later, low. 130? Number five, we'll take it. 15 minutes low, that was a pretty long run. I feel like we got unlucky around the 50 area. Oh. Do you see like low where the uh, power fruit spawns? It's because I didn't go all the way to the end. So we got like a really unlucky spawn. But hey, we can go get the saddle now. Yep, Zulon got remodeled. How do you evolve the female? Uh, it isn't female, I'll tell you that much. Okay, now I can actually read chats. Oh, yeah, it's impossible to read chat when you're doing that Zulong one. When you're like max speed, it is way too fast. If I look away for a second, I'm gonna run into something. Ooh. Can you merge Zulong saddles? Uh, maybe you can. Does anyone else in my server have it? Yo, t are you in my server? How do you get the mural lumians? Uh, they're in the fossil. You gotta unlock the second part low. So once you go to the UMV, talk to the NPC, then go to the museum, then you can um unlock them. I have it. Okay. But join me, Link Rubs. Ooh. Show Prope? Yeah, while he's loading, I will show Prope one again. There's your Prope one. Ooh. 
Come on, Chris Super. Hop on, man. Hop on. <laughs> did we get the other Soul Burst animations? I don't think we did those. You gotta talk to t Dim about those. Yep, the Zulong mount is multiplayer. You need to have it low. So Chris has to go now wherever I, g I go. Do you want to hop on yours, Chris? Oh, t Bone's here as well. <laughs> I I'm not even touching anything. Chris Super's just taking me around now. Game, uh, snake game is too hard. Uh, I mean, I also have had, like quite a bit of practice low. I think it's all right. It's just it might just take like some getting used to low. It might take some getting used to. Nice, thanks. Okay, let's go back to the UMV low. We'll go back to the Zulong arcade, okay? But first, we gotta go get all of the Titans. Yeah, you can Uber people. Although the issue is, you, you you need to have like the Zulong saddle to use other people's. You can't just hop on someone else's. Okay, let's go try and find the new ones, Len. We'll go back to the uh, arcade later, but we kind of like already beat them. Does that mean you can group hunts? Uh, I don't think it does. I think once if you're on the back of someone else's Zulong, it doesn't give you encounters. The Skellic move also re remove near enchants. No, it should just uh, break scapegoat. Skellic solve this move just breaks a. Uh, Scapegoat and then bypasses it. Or it, it breaks it and then attacks, not bypass. Zulong Mount is fire, how much do you need for it? For the Propay one, you need 50,000 points, and then for the Zulong, you need a hundred level 100s. I really want to go for the high high score on the Zulong, but I we, we gotta get the new roamers first, okay? Let's get all of the new Lumians and then we're going right back to the Zulong arcade, okay? We gotta max that thing out. What's up, what's up, Ominous? Hey, how's it going? But yeah, the Zulong is so good. The, the remodel, the mounts, it is perfect. There's the new fossils, there's the mini shards, which you've probably been seeing me like dig up a few times. And uh, there's the uh, arcade update as well. Two new roamings? No, there's free. There's free. The, the titans in the mural are the roamers. Their base stat total is going to stay at 650 low, with the base stat total increase that I'm giving like to every Lumion. The Titans are just going to stay at 650. When will I do a secret ability leak? Uh, probably when I get all of them, I guess. Probably when I get all of them. I don't want to like, uh, spoil it for people that want to hunt for them themselves. Which I don't think there's that many people that want to do that themselves, but there probably are some crazy people that... Would want to hunt for them. Primal form for the Titans, please no, <laughs> please. <laughs> Let's do normal soul bursts, right? Not Romer soul bursts, please, please. I swear I saw a star here. Is there not a star here? I guess I'm blind. I swear there was a star there. Am I? Am I crazy? Can you get more than one roaming? Yes. You can get an infinite amount of roaming fossils. They're just fairly rare. 
on average, it'll probably take you like three, four dives to get one of them. Like, I'm talking about, like, about batteries, not walls. It might take you like three, four batteries on average to get one of them. But hey, at least now you can actually buy batteries low from the uh, arcade. You just got three Titan Fossils in one dive. That is insane. That is really, really lucky. No! How did I miss? How did I miss? No. Yeah, this one's new. Where's their old? Is the one Titan there? Yes, all three of them are. People have already found all of them. There's three roamers, Supernova. I've already said there's three of them. Roamer fossil odds? I don't know exactly what the odds are, but on average, it should take you like three or four batteries to get one on average. So they're fairly rare. I think they're the, the rarest item in here. I'm pretty sure. Solba Skellic actually might be a little bit rarer since you only need to get one of them. I'm not entirely sure. They might just be the same, to be honest. Same rarity. Ooh, they're all the old ones. No. Yes, the new... Like, fossil titans are roamers, or legendaries, whatever you want to call them. We don't really have, like, a name for them yet. We've just been calling them roamers. Got a venile secret ability, not gonna lie. We can cope with this? Well, hope you can. <laughs> Hopefully you can. Is Nautiling a split evo? Yes. I don't think people have realized exactly how you get each farm low. People have gotten both of them, but I don't think people know how they did it. Is this a new one? This looks really similar to that one. I don't think this is a new one, is it? I can't tell. I think that's an old one. I think that's Skellix one. It is! That's Skellix, damn it! It looks so similar to the new one. Not gender. It is not gender. Oh, we got another Titan, baby! That's what we like to see! That is what we love to see. Let's go. What are the bird roamer stats? Uh, I will show you whenever I actually get it. Uh, they are very high low. It has very, very, very high stats. I left my guess in DMs. For what? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Th that's exactly how that works. I, you got it, like, spot on. Friendship? No. I wouldn't waste my time with friendship, personally. It's stat based. If your range attack stat is higher, you get mine type. If your melee attack stat is like, okay, yeah, you got it. <laughs> you got it. It's based on your attack stat. If you're, if you're for, for the Nautilist, what, what's the one called? The little one called again? What, what's the, what's the freaking little dude called? With Soul Burst, Whipple Drift? Honestly, it would be really cool. I would be down for that. I forgot what the tiny one's called. I just saw the name and I completely forgot about it. But yeah, it is stats base low. So if the um, Nautilisk's melee attack stat is higher than its range attack stat, you'll get the brawler one. If your range attack is higher than your melee attack, you'll get the damn it, uh, mind one. Nautiling, that's what it is. So yeah. Whichever Nautiling's attack stat is higher, you'll get the mind all the 
melee one or the brawler one. So yeah, the reason why I got a knockout is because my Nautling's physical attack was higher. So all I really need now is just the one more Titan fossil. Is Skellic the only Soul Burst? Yes, in the subdit. We probably will do Molo in the future because we can add Soul Burst now, like, kind of whenever. I'll take that. When is Lumen Legacy coming to console? It's on our list of things to do. I don't think it's like a very high on our priority low. But I don't work on that, so I'm not entirely sure. Give all of the Weaver Lumians, except from Charonix a Soul Burst. I mean, do you want Deladrix to have a Soul Burst? I feel like that one's also a very, very, very strong Lumian. <clears throat> Everything to know video went uh, probably later tonight once we do my stream I'll start working on it We gotta go get everything first low Best personality for the new what Titans uh probably I would guess just whatever their highest stat is I would probably guess just whatever is the highest stat Okay Let's do the Nautling one again. Yeah. There's you. Uh, do I have Power Fruits? I... That might be enough. That might be enough. So if you look at this Nautling, you can see that my uh, melee attack stat is higher than my range attack stat. So if I, if I level this up to level 25, it will always evolve into the Brawler one. So... Because I specifically want... Okay, actually this is probably a better idea. Let me just do this. Because I specifically want the um, mind one low now. Let's just give it some TPs. All in range attack. That way we're always guaranteed to get it. So yeah, you can use personalities, UPs, TPs to uh, determine what um evolution you get so this will always evolve into mind one now is nautiling the rumor yeah this is the rumor has a base out total of 200s <laughs> no this is just one of the new normal fossils no uh all of the new fossils other than the rumor ones have three abilities two normal one secret the rumors have one normal ability and one secret Oh yeah, and then uh, Brain Exercise is sh um, Shadow Box, but the opposite. So this will increase your range attack by one stage and your melee defense. So basically, Peace of Mind 2.0. And yeah, that's why the Mastery wasn't completed, because we need to get both of them. Okay, let's go get the Earth Titan now, or the Land Titan. Behemoth. I like all of the Titans, to be honest. I still think my favorite is the Water one, though. And we got Indifference. Wait. Oh, I just goes in my first slot. Oops. <laughs> I was wondering why did I get indifference? Landborn. And then here are the stats for you. Indifferent? Yeah, it's fine. I'm not gonna be using these ones for PvP anyway. These are just to uh unlock so I can start doing the master. Yeah, it's kinda like Tyrogue, I guess. 150 melee attack, 100 melee defense, 115 health, 55 range stats, 85 speed. 150? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, the uh, this one has 150 speed. 
So yeah, as you can see, though, the stats are the exact same. They've just been repositioned. So Leviathan has uh, 150 speed. Behemoth has 150 melee attack. This has 100 melee defense. This has 100 melee attack. Oops. This one has 85 speed. That's its range attack. These defenses are this one's range stats. So yeah, they're just like reorganized. Okay, let's go get the last titan. We need the air one now. Where's that attack stat? Yes. That's why the ability isn't 50%. 25% might still be enough. Uh, might still be a little bit too much. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I mean, hey. At least it isn't like Cosmior Unleashed with like Ace low right. So I, I, it could be worse. It could be worse. It could be way worse. Does the ability add with stab? Yes. It, it's multiplied, so 1.25 times 1.25. How to get the new soul burst? You gotta go mining for it. Make sure that you get the upgraded uh, mining glow. You can only find it in the new walls after you get like the new item. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna try and get all of the rumors now. We got two of them. We just need one more, the air one. We're still missing one. There is a burb one. Is the bit what is the best nature for a Nullis X? Um if you're talking about the mind one, probably like smart, I guess. And then for the brawler one, probably uh Brawny, I would guess. I completely forgot that you can't even rally these guys. I was about to say maybe very smart. Nope, can't run that. I guess you could probably get away with like smart sluggish. They have really slow speed stats. You could use them in Bane of Haste, I guess. That was kind of like the point for them. They're probably going to be really strong in uh, Bane of Haste. They hit pretty hard. They have really like high defenses. And their lower defense you can patch up with uh, their signature moves. <clears throat> They're probably really good in uh, Bane of Hursts. Can we see the new Zulong? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, get out of this mine low first again. They're showing up in, like, all of stream. Uh, if you just check out your... If you don't have a Zulong, but you've had one at one point, you can just look at your uh, decks. The decks will have the uh, updated one. What is the GR value of Gamma Titans? I don't know, man. I do not trade. So, yeah, I couldn't really tell you. Are the two dinos supposed to have the same stats alone defenses? Yep. Because if you look at their fossils, the fossils are the exact same. The only difference is their jaw pieces. So yeah, they're like counter parts. Solbus Canino? Do you mean Canibo? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Definitely not a good idea right now. <coughs> How rare are the Titans? You should roughly, on average, get one titan every like three or four batteries, I believe. Not walls, batteries, so an entire run. So yeah, they're fairly rare. No. How rare are the titans? I just answered that. So, like, 
I'm going in here now. Like, 304 of those. They're fairly rare. Do we have an Ancient Light type? Ancient Light? Who's Ancient Light? Am I dumb? Oh, Teridescent. <laughs> oh, Teridescent. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. I forgot. How could I forget about that one? That's such a good design as well. <clears throat> there were just so many freaking Lumians in a Lanfian part 2. Oh, I got happy. I got excited. I thought there was a fossil piece. A titan piece. <clears throat> no, the only soul burst in this update is Skellic. Infernix would be a pretty good one, though, to give a soul burst. I do want to buff Infernix a little bit. I think it's a little bit on the weaker side right now. But we'll see. I don't really mind if any of the fossils get a soul burst, though. I feel like a lot of them are, like, alright. I don't think, it, like, that many of them are, like, super great. I think the only one that doesn't really need a soul burst right now is probably... Dorigo? I already gave Dorigo a huge buff with, um... Draco Beam. So honestly, I would just be happy with any of them getting a soul burst. I would not mind. Maybe not the Titans, though. Not sure about those. I don't think Mudslide and Infernix makes sense. Also, um, I don't think we need to give every fire type Mudslide. They already have Burn Up. Morfezu is way too good with Gust Spam. Get good? <laughs> um, I did the Titans a long time ago. So... If they are broken, I can always go back and, like, nerf them. I mean, I'm already planning to, like, nerf Glissady a little bit. So, I mean, if the Titans are overtuned, don't worry. I, I will go back and uh, take a look at them. I I did go crazy with this update, low. I, I won't lie. I went crazy. Facing three Titans in PvP is going to be annoying. We'll see. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, uh, like, a lot of the rumors are going to get a lot stronger as well. Like, Dusk is going to be, like, actually threatening once it gets its new stats. So, I don't know. How does King Propis spawn? Like, oh, in the minigame? It's just random when it spawns. You have to, like, make sure you... Get rid of it low fast to activate king mode. If you don't kill it in time, it'll just despawn. Everything about the Prope one is RNG. It like it, it is the furthest thing from skill game. Like the Dodgy Dobo and Zulong are all sk are skill games. Oh, King Prope spawns after hitting four gold ones. Oh, is that what it is? I thought it was random. Never mind then. It's four gold ones. So yeah, but I would say Dodgy Dobo and Zulong are like your skill games. Um, Disc Drop is RNG and a skill game. The Propia one's like, I would say mostly just RNG. Like Disc Drop is like skill base with RNG. I would say Propia is with the gold ones is probably RNG skill game, I guess. I think it heavily favors RNG low rather than actually being good at the game. I I thought it was a uh, random. I didn't really test much about the uh, pro pay arcade. Okay, I tested a lot of the Zulong one though. <laughs> I tested the heck out of the Zulong one. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. Uh, four gold pieces is, is gonna be a lot easier. You gonna find any titans? I mean, yeah, the titans are uh, fairly rare. They'll take you a while to find them. 
I mean, rifle is so rifle are so strong. But let's get comfy. We got a a lot of these to do now. Too long new alpha is just green scale, yellow belly, basically Shenron. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I want to be opposed, but you're talking to the wrong person, man. I don't do the uh, colors of one. You got Skellic Solbrus? Nice. Yeah, I think Skellic Solbrus is going to be good. Oh, yeah, uh, Tiverdem, did you fix the uh, Solbrus Skellic ability? Solbrus is one becomes Shenron. I mean, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. The only new Solbus in this area, uh, Damon, is Skelly. I thought I was gonna fix it. Well, frick. Okay, so basically, just open up the script and type in... If do, then do. And that should fix it, I think. I know, I'm a pro coder. How do you get the Ancient Mind one? You have to evolve your Nautling when its range attack stat is higher than its melee attack stat. So like TP training, I guess, is probably the easiest way to do it. I got it. Hey, you got a, the Water Titan? Nice. Okay, so far, Lenoke, if you've seen all three of the Titans, which is your favorite so far? Or if you haven't seen any of all of them yet, which is your favorite of the Titans so far, do you think? I think the Water one is my favorite, although the other ones are still really good. Walter Earth, Bird, Earth, Easy, Bird, Bird. Okay, a lot of people like the Bird one. I mean, the Bird one is really good as well, though. You haven't got one of them yet? Well, Bigu. How to get the Titans? You just mine, bro. You just mine. That, that is quite literally it. The water one so far. Okay. It's like, I'd say it's like pretty split. I guess we'll do a poll when I get all of them. I just need the bird one. <coughs> I already got a duplicate titan. I have an extra water one now. Oh boy. <coughs> Did Hamanai's? Yep. Yeah, Hamanai's got buffed uh, quite a while ago, honestly. Harmonize is now 100%. I will continue to keep getting duplicates. Please, no. Please. I just need one more. Uh, the Titan secret abilities are called All Seeing. It basically makes your moves never miss. I would say the normal abilities are better, but there's like some situations I can see the uh, secrets being useful. No, no, not no guard. The opponent's move don't miss. Oh, the the opponent's moves can miss. It's just your moves it changes. <coughs> no guard is. Good and bad. No move misses at all if you use it or your opponent uses it against you. It's just your attacks that are increased. You got the bird one first try? Nice. I think my first try got Skellic Soul Bursts. <clears throat> my throat is so dead. 
also dead. <clears throat> Hopefully no one hit KO moves. Nah, I'm not doing lows. I don't like one hit KO moves that much. They're kind of meh. What's up, uh, Alpha Ace? How's it going? I'm not gonna lie, I am so freaking tired. I am so tired. Have you decided what Cosmere Unleashed ability is gonna get? No. It's probably not gonna get something good. It'll probably get something like decent. I feel like it doesn't need anything like Ace or Gorilla Tactics. Also for Gorilla Tactics, I don't want to give any Lumion Gorilla Tactics as a normal ability if it's only their ability. So like Cosmere Unleash wouldn't get Gorilla Tactics because it's only normal ability would be Gorilla Tactics. I don't mind giving it to like secret abilities or to like um, Volkaloa because Volkaloa has a second normal ability that isn't. Gorilla Tactics, but we'll see. I feel like it's not a good idea to make something always get locked into one move and there's like no way to get a different ability. Or is it finesse? Not entirely. It should be more. So all of your moves become 101% accurate, but it should also bypass a lot of other stuff. So a little bit stronger than finesse. Also, they bypass dodge as well. All of your moves become 101% accurate, which means they bypass dodge. Finesse, I don't think that works. I think for finesse, finesse, I think bypasses scapegoat, right? Something like that, I think. <clears throat> well, the new soul burst, Skellic, that's the only one. That is why I've only been mentioning that one. <clears throat> soul burst, Meditoad. Honestly, I would be down. Um, I feel like Meditoad is already really good, though. Don't know how I would feel about giving it a Soul Burst right now. Probably not a good idea. You know? Yep, the bird has 150 range attack. Am I going a little bit too crazy? 150 might have been a little bit too high, but uh, we can see. We can see. Which fossil would you choose for the next soul bursts? Hmm. I would, if it was up to me, I would say Infernix. I think Infernix needs some love. <coughs> Although, not really too sure what you can do for a Phoenix design. It's already a Phoenix. How do you make it more of a Phoenix? Not sure how. Design-wise, it would get changed. Soul Burst Cephalops? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he said Fossil, okay? He didn't say Legendary. Make a pile of ash. Damn. What's a soul move? Just give up. Okay, what if we give Solbust um, Infernix Revival Blessing as its soul move? That would definitely make it more usable. <laughs> that would definitely be a buff. 
that's a terrible idea. Revival Blessing should never exist. Especially in like an energy based game, not a PP game, a PP system. So yeah, probably not a good idea. Bro said PP. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay, bro. How to tell if someone's like 12, 101. Our ability patches and personality mint still on the table. Uh, yo, t Rodem. Mint and patches? Yeah? Yeah? Good idea, right? Good idea? What is Unity? It is a um, new fossil, man. What, what do you mean? These abilities suck. What do you mean? What do you mean they suck? How dare you? How dare you? Those abilities are great. Oh, so the first Gleaming Fossil you got? Nice. I'm not going to worry about Gleamings right now until I do all of their Masters. If I'm going to go for the Alphas, I might as well also go for the Gammas, right? Can you give Bar Badger a blind spot better? I don't think Bar Badger needs the light type moves. That is what Chienta is meant to get, not really Bar Badger. If I give a uh, Bar Badger light type coverage, there's like no real difference to Chienta and Bar Badger, other than one's fast and one's a little bit bulkier. Not the biggest fan of that. Like, uh, Babbage are, like, more like a fairly bulky... and eh, not, like, super bulky, actually. It's a bit bulky than Chienta, though, I'd say. More like of a wall breaker. I feel like it'll be a little bit too similar if I give them, like, the exact same coverage. Solbus Lurkat. Honestly, I'm down. I'm, I'm, da I'm down for any Solbus slow, to be honest. So the Titan move is bugged? How? How's it bugged? Oh no. How so? And deals like no damage? Great. Even with a full type squads? Great. Damn it. It's you, Tina. Whatever you want to call it, basically. I think people would probably understand what you're talking about. Will there ever be a move like Gyro Ball? I wouldn't be opposed to it. How does that one work again? It's the base power is stronger the slower you are than your opponents? Or is it how slow you are, just periods? Based on opponents, okay. I mean, we could do something like that. I don't really know what typing God make it low. I guess it could be metal, but metal is already like such a good type. I don't know if I want to like make it metal. What do the fossil shards do? They're basically like normal corrupted shards, just a little bit weaker because there are tiny versions of them. But as you can see, we're getting like a button of them, so I'm I'm down. Grass Ancient? Uh, Plant Ancient? That is Colossotrops. The Wall Breaker. Solpus Twilight. Okay, bro. Okay, okay. What would even Solpus Twilight look like? Just a slightly bigger simple rat? Let's call it a day. 
and Phoenix becomes like Icarus or Ho -Oh. I I guess, I guess. Oh yeah, Twilight remodel. Uh I don't deal with that, so I honestly could not tell you when that's meant to happen. Very ancient probably sucks. Yeah, uh, that's like what? Quad week to light, quad week to ancient, you'd be weak to metal. Is that actually it, Lou? If that's it, that's not like super, super bad. It's pretty bad, but it's not like super bad. Oh no, it's another Earth one, damn it! Where's the air one? Come on. Damn it, man. I just need the earth. Uh, I need the air one, not the earth one. The air one. What attack type is Utina? It is a melee attacker. Ugh. How do you get the big fossils? Uh, once you unlock like the new um, UMV walls, like once you do like little like side quests, they're just rare. They're just like fairly rare. On average, it should take you like three or four batteries to get one. Like not not walls, not what I'm doing right now. Like three entire dives, on average. Something like that, at least. They're just gonna take a while to get. Solbus looks on Umbra. Honestly, I think that'll probably be a good idea. There are some of like the weaker Lumians still. Been nine batteries after the quest and I didn't see one. Uh, then you're getting really unlucky, then I guess. Because so far, I think in total I've done like 15 dies and I found four of them. So, yeah. I think you're just getting unlucky. Can I find an Ulur Star, please? Thank you. You spent 14 batteries? Damn, are you guys like just like speed running it? Like are you even like trying to check the wall? That is really unlucky. Uh that is actually really unlucky if you uh don't have one in like 14 batteries. I'm gonna make a video of Essay of Aline. Um I don't have the video made, so I'll have to like probably do them after I'm done streaming. There's a lot of videos I gotta work on now, so oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Now wait. How many of the big fossils do you need to get the titans? Just one. So the normal fossils, you need three pieces. For the titans, you just need the one uh, piece. Like, it doesn't come in pieces, it's just like one big part. So you, you, once you get it, you just drag it into the table, the crafting table, and it just gives you the Lumion immediately. How many fossils are there? Um, there are... The three legendary ones, the titans, and then there's the two other ones, although technically four more. So, so there's three titans, legendary titans. Nautling is one fossil, but it's a split evolution, so it's technically two. And then the jaw fossil, there's actually four pieces of the jaw fossil. It's a little bit different to every other fossil. Every other fossil requires three pieces. The jaw fossil has four pieces. If you use A, B, and C, it'll give you one of the like dinosaurs. And if you use A, B, and D, it'll give you the other one, I think. 
They're not entirely like a split evolution, but they're basically a split evolution. They're very similar. Why can't Babadger learn bulk up? Because I gave it brawn boost. Usually I don't really give too many Lumions brawn boost and bulk up. It's generally one or the other. It's very like rare for Lumions to have like both of them. I think the only ones that have both of them is like what? Maybe Volcaloa? Actually, no. I don't think Volcaloa has bulk up. I actually don't know who has both of them. Damn. Make a Blood Moon to Clips. That wouldn't be a necessarily a bad idea. But... Eh... Eh... I think Eclipse is already like special enough, right? Do we really need to Eclipse 2.0? Do I need to? When can we capture the air? Well, I'm trying to find it. I'm tr I'm trying to find it. Solbirth Mraith? Not a terrible idea. I don't really know what I would do different about it, though. To be honest. Like, I think Mraith is already, like, pretty good. I don't think we desperately need a Sol Burst of it right now. Oh, Colossatross has both of them. Ah, okay. Yeah. Is that the only one? I'm pretty sure there's another one. You baldy one? Okay, bro. You're getting banned. <laughs> bro, what the heck, man? That's not cool. How do you get the titans? They're just rare. That, that's, that's quite literally it. They're just rare. You just gotta get lucky. Just get goods. I want that. I need the bird. I need that thing. It's Sumo Beetle based on you. Excuse me? Excuse me? What is um, a Waifoon or Yufoon? Secret ability? It is. Um, damn, what was the name of that one? The secret... I, I guess we can actually go over abilities right now. I guess we'll go over them now. <clears throat> okay. So, the Titans. Did I find them? When I find them? How far down? Okay. So, the Titans all have, like, Skyborn, Landborn, and Deathborn. It just increases their stab by 25%. Their secret abilities are all, all seeing. Your moves just never miss. Next up plan is Nautiling. It has Watcher, Protective Shell, and Viscid on all of its evolutions. U Tiny has Triumph, Petrifying, which is terrifying but range attack version. And U Tiny's secret ability is. Oh my gosh, I hate Hero Dem. I can't pronounce this. Tumultuous, I think is how you pronounce it. Tumultuous. It increases your um, damage by 30% if there is air weather ongoing. So it's basically what? What is Lashent's ability? Gloomy? It's basically gloomy, but... Air, uh, strong gusts. I can't remember the name for it for a second. And then Venilile. Veniline. Venile. 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 Venile? Yeah, Venile. Venile has toxic spines, which I'm pretty sure is if it hits you, there's a chance you poison it. Then it has 
Venomness, if you hit it, it has a chance to poison it. And then the secret ability is Brutal Wrath. If the opponent is poisoned, you will always critical hit one. Tumultuous. Oh, Tumultuous. Got it. Yeah, why do you have to, like, put a name that I can't... Bro, I'm already bad at pronouncing things. Why are you going to make it as difficult as possible? So, yeah. The, uh... I think the toxic one is probably going to be the stronger one. Out of, like, the dinosaurs. But, um... Like... The toxic one is stronger power-wise, but the, uh, air one is going to have, like, more coverage. And, like, um... More utility. The Titan Secret Bulletins also have enchant bypassing. They used to have. Um, I think it should also bypass them. That one's like a little bit tough to test, so I'll have to like double check that one later on. Unless you want to do it now, I eat. <laughs> Unless you want to do it. But yeah, I think it should also bypass uh, everything basically. Like, they just basically don't miss. I'm assuming you did it like that, right, Tiradem? Where is it again? Where's the ability? All seeing. Oh, there we are. Yes, let me test by casually getting a secret blood to Titan. Well, yeah, exactly. Let him just test it. Uh, so this is the old version of All Seeing's descriptions. The opponent cannot hide from the user's moves. All of the user's moves become 101% accurate, which bypasses dodge. You also ignore scapegoat, in near and far enchantments, and invulnerable stages, like submerge and plunge. So basically, you can't dodge their moves. It should... That was the old description. It should do that. We'll have to, like, test that out later, though. Wait, yeah, I just go get the secret ability, man. Easy. <laughs> Easy. So, uh, yeah. Actually, thinking about it, those, soul, those uh, secret abilities are, are pretty good for the Titans. I still think the normal abilities are inherently better because Unga Bunga, more damage. Give me two minutes. Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'll have to open like two accounts to test it, I guess. What well, Lumin is the Atmos? That is the bird one. That is the one that I need. That is the one that I am looking for. Solba Skellix ability is basically Swiss Swim. Your speed is doubled in uh, Rainstorm. Heavy rain. You can see that I'm like introducing like more weather abilities. I'm hoping we get the thunderstorms like sometime soon in the future. That would be nice. I really want those weather abilities. It just opens up like an entire like new team strategy. Like, so I would like those soon. You just got Atmos as you said that? Dang. But I need it. <laughs> but I need it. Yep, the one that I can't get. I know. I know. Paraglyph, Terraclaw, or Oxidrix all bursts. Paraglyph doesn't necessarily need one right now, although it would be really cool. Terraclaw, I think, is really good. It's just hard to get. Um, Terraclaw would be an interesting one, but I don't really know what I would do with it, to be honest. I would probably just completely base it on its design. Oxidric, yeah, I think, is actually, I guess, the more likely of all of those. Again, though, it doesn't really need one. It doesn't really need one. Ooh. Uh, yes. Why do the Titans have Hypno? I mean, look at them, bro. They have, like, 
20 million eyes. Hypno. Can the Titans get weather abilities? No. That wasn't the uh, idea. They're not the weather trio from Pokemon. They're just Titans. We need Solburst. Oh, Stoucher Solburst? Honestly, I would be down. Oh, wait. I just real I just realized what you said. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just double check the ability again. I just realized what you meant. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, so, after reading it, I, uh, I typed moose. It was meant to be attacking moose, not support moose. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no. So, I definitely made an upsie there. t them <laughs> you're not telling me which one it is. <laughs> Does it just increase the accuracy? Or does it make it bypass um, screens, scapegoats, you fired? Which one does it do, t -Rodem? Which Which one, how did you program it? Does it just increase your accuracy? Or does it also bypass everything? Get debt. Is it one or two? How I feel my purpose twice in the exact same way. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I completely overlooked that. I completely overlooked that. Okay. Let's uh, change that so it only increases the accuracy of your attacks, not your support moves. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so the Titans went from like being, okay, they might be broken to, oh. Uh oh, they're broken. Especially that water type one. The water type one basically outspeeds everything in the game, other than some boot users and Gargolem speed. So, oh boy. The wait, uh, I will have to double check on that later. After Skellig Soul Burst, it's saying, keeps saying it has extra health. Yep, its health goes up by a little bit. Soul Burst in this game get extra health sometimes. Instead of like just defenses. Oh yeah, so yeah, okay. 
just double check with Tibur them. So all seeing makes all of your moves. It's going to be changed to attacks, okay? It will make all of your attacks 101% accuracy, is what I, I call it. That basically means that it will bypass dodge. So you get to bypass dodge, scapegoats, and enchantments. So basically, you're not safe from the titans. They will bypass everything. Which... Yeah, is a really good ability, but is it better than just a flat-out 25% damage increase to your stab attacks? I don't know. I, I mean, there's, a, there's clearly a reason for both. If you want more damage, you go damage. If you want your attacks to uh, never miss... What about blocks? So, they shouldn't pass protects. So, like, magma blocks shouldn't be bypassed, because that's, like, an actual, like... Uh, actually... Actually... I don't think they should. I think that might be the only thing that can block them. I think. That, that should be the only thing that can block them, I think. That's, I think that might be the only thing that doesn't get bypassed. I think. I didn't mention it at all, so I think we should block them. All seeing is better for coverage and never missing sweep endgame. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see the titans being pretty powerful. Next year's April Fools give everything a salt burst and they all turn into pro pit. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, I still need the uh, Air Titan. Reveal the move pulls. Mm, let me get this freaking bird first, okay, Alan. Let me get this dumb bird. It's the only thing I'm missing now. Electric Vara Evolution when? Honestly, that is a pretty good question. I don't know. I don't work on the designs, so whenever it's done, I'll get it. So I can give it its stats and abilities and moves. But along with that, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm actually struggling. Like, where, where is... Oh, the freaking bird. Where is it? I want to get the bird and then go right back to the arcade. We're, we're high scoring, okay, the uh, Zulong. We're high scoring it. What's the uh, high score right now on the Zulong? Has anyone reached max uh, level yet? You got free water keg fossil- WATER KEG FOSSILS?! What? In a row? Okay, that's pretty lucky. 250? Uh, I don't think- Oh god, is 250 the highest level? I think it's like 254 or something, or 256. I forgot what, like, the maximum is. It's, it's 250 something, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I think it's 256. Electric Vara. Electric Vara would be awesome, low. Three people got 250. Maybe 250 is the maximum one. Mm. That might be the maximum. I don't remember. 250 is the max? Okay. Then 250 is the max one. <clears throat> mm. 
Nebel. Dirk only nine. Well, we gotta go and max it out, right? We gotta go max it out. What are the evolution levels for the fossils? Uh, 25 for the Nautiling. 24 and 40 for the other ones. Two fifty what? A level on Zulong. I'm pretty sure the max is like two fifty something. I don't remember if it's exactly two fifty. Um, I hit max on the test server, but that was a, like a few days ago. I don't remember what it is anymore. They changed Zulong's animation? No, no, no. Zulong got a remodel. Zulong's entire model is new. Did you get the Earthworm? Yep, we just missing the bird. How many new fossils are there? Uh, the three Titans, and then there's four normal uh, fossils. Why is Zulong's neck longer? I got a, I got a remodel. It's brand new. Why you gave Swalder a bulk up and brown boost? Yes. Well, if you want one to be like a more bulky attacker, then bulk up. If you want more to, want to do like just more damage immediately, then you will go brown boost. You found six Leviatrosses, one Behemoth, and still no bird. That is rough. Hopefully, I don't have that type of luck, but we'll see. It isn't looking too promising, low. This might be my last one for this wall. Or this run, yep. You got the Atmos Fossil. Should I make it Brawn and Nimble or Uller? I think either... Not Brawn, that one's range attack. That one's the bird one. That one probably wants Nimble or Smart. So get get two, I guess. Just get a nimble one and a brawny one. I think that's probably what you want to do for all of them. The bird one probably wants nimble or smart. Unless you specifically want to use it as a range tank, then go clever. The earth one probably wants nimble or brawny. Robust if you want it to be melee tank. And then the water one, you can probably go nimble, brawny, or technically smart if you want a, a range attacking one, but probably not. Hey, please showcase a gamma Zulong with a new model. We'll see. I still actually haven't shown case a Zulong with fire breath yet. I guess I could do that before I remove it. Because I don't know when it's going to get removed either way. What was Solver Skellic's ability supposed to be? Basically, Swiss Swim. If there is heavy rain weather, double speed. It might be fixed in new servers. I don't know. I think I'm still on an old server. What are its rally moves? Oh, it has uh, quite a few. Again, we'll go over them whenever I get the bird. Let me get the bird and then we'll go over all of them. The Titans have a few rally moves. The other new ones don't really have that many. Like Nautilink has zero rally moves, so don't even like try looking for them. I will probably change that decision later on, but the reason why Nautilink doesn't have any rally moves is because I thought it would be funny if it just doesn't get any, because it's Nautilink. It is really pitiful. I'll probably reverse that decision low later on I guess maybe we'll see we'll see if the evolutions like are desperate in need of any new moves if they are then I'll undo that change but if they're fine then I don't know I think I thought it was funny low for its design
I mean, look at it. it. It is the new weakest Lumion. It's basically Singil, but even worse. Like, Singil has access to Rally Moves, but... Uh... <laughs> Nautiling doesn't. Nautiling has 200 base stat total. It has some of the worst stats in the game. And it has, like, no moves either. Like, the only moves it gets are the 4 level 1 moves. So, so whenever you, like, you revive Nautiling, the only moves it gets are the moves that it comes with and dodge. That's it. Honestly, I, should, I shouldn't even give it dodge. I should have just like, left it have no dodge either. <laughs> I should have actually just took away dodge as well. Yeah, you don't get to dodge either. <laughs> Damn it, I should have done that. Uh, it just broke. Scorching. It'll be fixed. It actually might already be fixed in new servers. I don't know. Yeah, that dude extinct for a reason, okay? We making sure he, uh, goes extinct again, right? Oh. All I'm missing is two titans. I'm just missing one. It's just a bird one. I physically can't find it. I just cannot find it. Uh, Solber Skellic is still the same typing. It doesn't change typing when it Soul Bursts. I don't think any of the fossils will probably change typing when they Soul Burst, to be honest. I think they're probably good with the typing they started with. 999 Yom Vida's video in. Eventually, I will do another updated video. Uh, I think... How long ago was it now? Was it like two years ago? Two or three years ago, I did a video where I revived 5,000 fossils. I will probably do that again with all of the fossils, but obviously it's going to take a while. So I will probably see you in like a year for that video because that is going to take so long. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to stream it. I'll probably do it all off camera low because obviously that's going to... That's going to be really, really, really rough. We'll see. I might stream it. I, I guess we're just going to speedrun. Putting them together is the most infuriating thing when you're trying to like do that many of them low. Yep, so 999 of each titan and every other fossil. How many fossils even? Oh, wait. Actually, wait, 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 wait. How would I do that? How would I do the the new fossils? Honestly, Nautiling, I can make 1,000 Nautilings. Easy. What about um the dinos, though? I can't make 1,000 of both of them at the, t at the same time. I can only hold 1,000 of each of their items. And... I can't make 1,000 of both of them. I would have to do like do a 500, I guess, right? For the dino guys, I probably got to do like 500 of each of those. Unless I grind a thousand, revive a thousand of one of them, and then go back and grind another 1,000 for the other one. Uh, I'll probably just leave it as like 500 of each, I guess. But yeah, I guess I could also just do the titans. That could also be fine. We'll see, we'll see. Does the arcade have new items? The only new item is the uh, battery. That is it. Oh, and the new saddles, I guess, as well. Imagine doing 
999 titans but no gleams that would be really 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 upsetting <laughs> that would be so so annoying you could have added special specialty items uh maybe 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 later low I mean, the Titans has already looked like pretty strong. I don't think we need to introduce Titans and choice items as well. Later on, though, they will definitely be added in. But yeah, now, now that actually we have all of the uh, arcade machines, I can definitely like add more to the arcade shop, I guess, now whenever I want. If you miss a titan fossil in the digging minigame, can you find it again? Yeah. You can find an infinite amount of them. Like, it's not only one and done, you can find as many of them as you want. Also, they're just rare, so it might take a while to find another one. That's the only issue. Is Cosmere event not gonna come back? It will, it will. Uh, don't know when though. I don't decide stuff like that. I am just the balanced developer. So I do like all of the moves, stats, abilities. I do the PvP stuff basically. And I don't even code. I just put, I just jot down numbers and I tell Tibradem to code all of them. I have a feeling someone already got a Gamma Titan. I honestly wouldn't be surprised. Some people's RNG is nuts in this game. You have a, I need a Pure Nimble Dusk. I actually don't think I have any extra ones. I don't think I have any extra Pure Nimble Duskets. It's been a while since I've actually like hunted specifically for the Duskit. But yeah, having like all of the harmonizers now are really, really nice because it's guaranteed. You can probably find a couple of uh, pure nimble duskets in the trading chat on the discords, I guess, most likely. I feel like every time that like, we get an update with new Lumians, there's probably a lot of people trying to trade them away, I would assume, right? That's like the most ideal time to uh, trade them away. Yep, Harmonize is now guaranteed it's no longer 50%. What should I run on the Fossil Lumians? I'm thinking Nimble on Utene, Brawn on the Toxic one. Um, The, the Bird Dino? Probably a Nimble or Brawn. The Toxic one, Nimble or Brawn. It depends if you want more speed or more damage. Then for the Nautilings, probably Smart or Brawner, depending which evolution you're running. You could also even go a step further and use it on a Bane of Haste team, so you could maybe give it like Smart Sluggish, Brawny Sluggish, I guess. So they're faster in Bane of Haste. <sighs> Isn't brain exercise just peace of mind? No, 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 no. It's basically so brain exercise is basically peace of mind 2, and shadow box is bulk up 2.0. Bulk up does melee attack and defense, shadow box does melee attack but range defense, and then brain exercise does range attack but melee defense. So like peace of mind is just the range stats, bulk up is just the melee stats, shadow box and brain exercise are the opposite version of each other. Will shadow box and brain exercise be given to low lumians? Uh, eventually yes. 
it is going to be very exclusive low. Very, very, very few things are going to get one. Very few things. That, that shouldn't be like a move that a lot of things get, to be honest. Like, yeah, a lot of people will probably want like a shadow box, like what, Billiforge? Hmm, I don't think so, low. There's a different Evo for the simple ancient one. Yep. Uh, whatever attack is higher, it'll evolve into that form. So if range attack is high, you get mind one. If melee attack is high, you get brawler one. <coughs> Can I get the bird now, please, game? I feel like I've hunted enough for them, right? I feel like I've hunted enough. What happens when both stats are equal? Um, I actually think it will refuse to evolve. At least that's what I was, I was told. Oh! Damn it! It's the freaking water one again! Game! Game! I got excited, but I saw the freaking blue! Damn it! This game is trolling me, bro. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I think if the... Uh, well, how it was explained to me, if the uh, Nautling has the exact same attacking stats, like the exact same, I was told it will refuse to evolve, although it might just evolve into a random one. So make sure their attacks are uh, what you want them to be. What personalities on the Terrace one? Do you mean the the earth one? Earth type? Probably a brawny or nimble, I would guess. I think for all of these fossils, like every fossil in this update, probably just wants nimble for speed all their attack. Like yeah, you could technically go like clever or robust on a couple or a defensive set, maybe. I don't think that's gonna be a very common one though. Just got a secret blood to Morphezu. What does the ability even mean? Basically, if your opponent can hide from your moves, it do it can't. So with all seeing, all of your moves bypass dodge, scapegoats, and they'll also ignore enchantments as well. What Lumion stats would you change? But you can't anymore? Uh, none. That's why with the... Oh, actually, that's actually not true, I guess, because I am doing the base that total rework. The only ones that I am changing is, like, Terrafly, Cinemoth. I did a video on it. There's, there's like, a few Lumias that's like, okay, I, I know why they, they're really weak. It's because I was intending them to be weak, but there's no need. It was, like, overkill. Did I say Venomoth? I'm pretty sure I said Cinemoth, right? I'm pretty sure I said Cinemoth. Did I say Venomoth? No way I did. What's with the Eclipse nerf? Uh, I mean, it is technically a nerf, but it wasn't like meant to be one. It's a rework. Overall, it is a nerf, but it, I feel more comfortable with the new stats, like giving it more broken moves or potentially broken moves, like a drudge, range drudge, peace of mind, bulk up, magnify, brawn boost. Like the, the close that we have right now in the game, I don't feel comfortable giving it all of those moves. I think it'll be too much. So yeah, so with like the reworked Eclipse, yes, its stats are inherently worse, but that means I can give it more broken moves, which should more than make up for that change. But if it's still not good, I can always rework it again. You said Cinemoth? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I don't think I said Venomoth. 
I know I'm like sleep deprived, but I don't think I'm that sleep deprived yet, right? Maybe. When you solve this mini toad, I mean, I wouldn't mind any soul bursts. I don't know, Lo. Okay, how am I actually not getting this stupid bird? Shadow box, Babadger, no. Like I said, Shadow box and Brain Exercise are gonna be right now exclusive, but later when I actually start giving them out, they're gonna be very, very exclusive. Like very, very, very few things are gonna get them. Like, I can't even think of anything right now that would actually get one, to be honest. Like, maybe Sumobito could get Shadow Box. Other than that, I don't know. That honestly, it's like the only one I can think of right now. You're four of each of the Titans? Bruh. What? How? You might be cheating. You might be cheating. Do you think you'll ever add a power fruit, small, medium, large, and XL? Uh, no. Power fruits just level you up. We don't need to turn them into like, um, what is it, candies from Sword and Shields? Wait. Uh, let me do this one last wall. Star, I got you. Uh, the fossils are items. Can you put them on Lumions? Am I dumb? Oh. You can put these on Lumions, right? Oh, wrong one. You can. Okay. Okay. Who wants to trade? Oh, does anyone maybe want to trade the Aquatus for a uh, Atmos? I need the bird one, basically. I will trade a water one since I have two of those. I need some usernames, okay? It's just easy to trade. Why don't I just trade for it? Duh. Uh, do I even have anything to trade? Uh, what's the scammer? Ah, that's fine. Equip. Okay, let's see some usernames. Again, I specifically want the air type one. I don't need any of the other ones. I just want an air one. Also, I'm trading you the water one, okay? So if you don't want the water one, don't put your username in chat, okay? Yeah. Well, we'll try Funk Front since he's a member. Let's see. That would be a lot easier. Oh yeah, make sure that your traders are nice. You got the air one, I uh, think. Don't trade it with this weird man. What? Excuse me, man. I'm not sharking. I'm giving you the water one, and I want the air one. Okay. You're still getting something and a gamma. I mean, it's not really like I need the Gamma Low. Me trying to get the rally moves on the Air Titan. Oh, I'm, I'm doing those next, okay. We'll do those next. I just want to get all of them first, so I can actually put them on screen when I talk about them. That way, when people come back to the stream, they know exactly when to, like, jump to on the stream. I just joined, and I honestly completely forgot your username. Is there no one else like that? Like... Someone will tell you their name or their username. Immediately forgotten. Immediately forgotten. Like, I am so bad when it comes to that. Like, I might have brain damage. Like, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, kind of joking, but... Uh, it's, it's a little... Uh... 
a, a little scary sometimes. You got every Titan before Gemma did? Wow! You're cheating, man. You're cheating. Hey, I appreciate it, Pink Run. I appreciate it. I almost released it without taking this item. Oh no. Okay, let's go revive it. Actually, thinking about it, that is probably a smart way. Instead of grinding for all of the fossils, I could just trade for them. That way I can, like, do the, like, what, 10,000 fossil stream a lot sooner. I don't think anyone's dumb enough, Lord, just to give me Titan fossils for free. That sounds like a scam. <laughs> okay. Atmos. Let's go! We got all of them! We got them all! But yeah, here is Morphezu. It is basically the uh, Earth one, but ranged instead of melee. And then the Leviatros one is speed. They all look so good. The bird one's really good, actually. I think my favorite is still the Leviatros, but it's like really close. Like, they're all so good. This basically just like Clossotrops on steroids. And I love Clossotrops, so why would I not like the Seaver? And they look like slightly alien enough that also like makes them even cooler. Like they, they they could pass as like normal animals, but they look like just alien enough to like make them cooler. Okay, let's go over Rally Muslin. Uh let's start off with the Titans. Because the Titans are kinda like the only Actually, we'll start off with the other ones. Because the other ones don't really have mana at all. Okay. Let's go over Knockout and Nautilect. Nautilect? Uh, they get nothing. Not even joking. I literally gave them zero rally moves because I thought it would be funny for the pre evolution if it just couldn't learn anything. So if I actually quickly go to it. Look at this dumb thing. <laughs> the only moves it gets are the fall moves you get when you revive it and dodge. Th that is the only moves it has access to. I thought it was funny if I keep it this way, so that's why it has zero rally moves. If the evolutions like desperately need moves low, I will undo that and I'll actually give it some rally moves, but for right now it has none. Next up plan is... Um, Yufun? Yutfoon? Yufoon? I think it's probably Yufoon. Probably Yufoon. You got Secret Ability of Veniline? Dang, nice. Okay, yeah. So, uh... Yuf Yutifoon and, uh... Verenisaur. The only moves I gave them were Outbursts. That That's it. Just one. So, yeah. You've got U Tiny, U Teen, U Typhoon, and then Verenisaur. Yeah, so these only get outbursts as low rally moves. Verenisaur is actually like a very scary Lumion, so I didn't want to go like too overboard with it. And then U Typhoon, I probably could have gave it a little bit more. I feel like out of the two, U Typhoon is probably the weaker one. Because instead of like like this one is entirely damage based. This one is more like utility based. So I feel like this one is just inherently stronger right now until this gets more utility. But it has got a uh, range terrifying, which is completely unique. So that does give it something straight off the bat. Ruffled Feathers is cool in concept. I think it's a little hello. I, I, I don't think like. There's not really, like, any real point to clicking Ruffled Feathers instead of Gust. Gust is just better. So, building concept, I don't think people are really going to run Ruffled Feathers that much low, to be honest. Uh, what's next, Len? Is it just the Titans? So, these I actually did a long time ago. These have been planned for a whole long time. Okay. First up, Len, is Morphezu. 
Morfezu gets Jetstream, Metal Blast, Primal Slash, Shrewd Blast, and Psycho Blasts. So pretty good coverage. It can't hit Metal types, though. Like Air, Metal, and Ancient, and Mind. It can't hit Metal types. And yes, it's not getting Mudslide, don't ask. <laughs> okay, don't ask. So it has got like a, an answer. Metal type, just like Lysadia. <laughs> so nice, Metal Stunks are through the roof. Next one is Behemoth. This one gets Landslide, even though it's never going to use it. Driving Force, Primal Slash, Shrewd Blast, and Timber Thrash. Yeah, it's pretty similar to Colossal Trops, I'm not going to lie. The only difference is their typing. Colossotrops is plant ancient. This is pure earth. I think the only difference is the uh... Colossotrops gets rogue assault as well. This one probably won't. Probably won't. Okay, and then Leviatross. The Viatross gets Spectral Burst, Phantom Slash, Primal Slash, Shrewd Blast, Dark Surge, and Mega Chomp. Yeah, another water type with dark coverage. But it makes sense though, it's not my fault that they all look like they should do that. So yeah. Does Air Titan learn any fire moves? Heck no, heck no. Heck no. That would not be a good idea. So yeah. Their signature moves are really strong low. I can definitely see those being a... Maybe problematic. Hopefully not low. Where can I even put these? I need like another box. Uh, I guess here for now. Everybody in. Everybody in. Okay. What's the signature move? Um, I have them on them, right? Yeah, this. Expert Onslaughts. I think apparently it's broken. Tyrida might be fixing it, have, or have already fixed it. I don't know. Basically, it's uh, your stab typing. It changes to range or melee, depending which die is higher. And every extra same typing that you have on your team will increase the the power. So it's 50 power straight off on Leviatross. If I have a null or water type Lumion in my team, the power will be increased by 25 power. So that also includes itself. So it's 50 base power plus 25 for itself. So it's already starting off at 75. Then it gets the null or plus 25 for every other water type Lumion, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it doesn't include itself. I'm pretty sure it was meant to. It might. I think it's apparently lower right now. It's broken. <clears throat> the Vitrus is really trying to get Galash fired. Yeah, but Galash has like different coverage, like Toxic as well. Um, although, yeah, it's pretty similar. I think the only difference is Galash has Venom Chomp. Um, Water Titan has. Spirit coverage. I think that's the only difference. <clears throat> Make the Titans in primal form? Heck no. No to good idea. Okay, let's uh, max out this Zulongo kit. Let's max this out. 250, okay. <clears throat> we got this, okay. We got this. While the Titan Seeker built it, they're called All Seeing. They will bypass dodge, scapegoat, and enchantments. Pretty strong, but I want to say the normal abilities are probably better. But that doesn't mean the secret abilities are bad. I think they're both good, just different circumstances. Okay. Let's max out Zulongo kit. I'm tired of not being tired with number one. Let's let's go for it. 
Because people already have the max score, we gotta be like very fast on these uh, lower level ones now. So hopefully we don't make any mistakes. So yeah, I, honestly, I think the strategy is for the lower level parts on this game, you want to go for just every rare candy that you can get up to like level 50. You just want to like dash towards them. Just don't make a mistake either. Once you're like you're 50 to like 125, maybe you want to like just basically just snake, but leave the edges available so you can like get out in case you make a bad move and then the late game you need to like take up every tile basically i'll i'll basically show you whenever we get there yeah all the way to the top and now we're actually picking up dang yeah it's like a big jump when you get like to the fodder. Like here, we're just trying to like get them as fast as possible. That one's gonna suck a little bit. We gotta go all the way around. I'm gonna give myself enough room so I can sneak out. All the way to the top. Okay, now we're on 50. Now here, we basically want to like start snaking because it's a little bit tough just to go after them immediately. So we basically just want to like snake the entire way up and down. And then like go back to the top basically. We're going to try and leave the edges low. Like fine, because like here we can just like use the edge to go all the way back to the top. So this is the strategy now. And here, once the tail comes up, we can go all the way to the bottom. Just so we can get this power fruit faster. I think that's probably the strategy for like the mid stage where we're on now. And because my tail's gone back down to the bottom, we can go all the way to the top. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> that is very, very unfortunate. I can get it low. So yeah, while we're actually snaking low, we want to make sure that we take up every gap. We don't want to like really leave any gaps, especially like in the middle of us. If we leave a gap like that, it is very, very annoying because we got to go all the way around. But yeah, basically, just play safe. At this point, just play safe. There's no point to like start speedrunning for the power fruit unless you're specifically trying to get like number one on the leaderboard, but that's not my goal right now. I just want to max it out. All the way to the bottom. We can cut down all the way there. I freaking missed it, so now we gotta wait for my tail to catch up. This is fine now, so we can go all the way around like this. And then back on track. Now we can't like really do anything dangerous. We gotta wait for my tail to like clear up the outer rim of the map. Like now I can cut back down to the bottom. That is very cringe. <laughs> that is very cringe, man. Yeah, I can go back up. That is also cringe. Come on, man. That is so unlucky. Okay, we can cut all the way to the bottom. But yeah, but once you get to like level 50, it doesn't get any faster. You can see on the left side, I made like a small error. I made another error there as well. I just cut myself off, so I can't go that way anymore. But it's fine. Because we aren't going that way. I prefer going down the right side. If it's in the middle, I'm not going to like try and brute force my way to it at this level. I think it's just worth taking your time with this part. There's no need to speedrun. 
like yeah we could like do a like we could do a gap like this like that is fine the issue low is if a power fruit spawns on that lane where i create a gap you physically can't get it you have to like do an entire loop which is why i don't think it's really worth like skipping any parts it's worth like completely taking up every single space if you're trying to like speedrun this you want to like make sure that the power fruit can't really spawn anywhere that you can't access so basically you just want to make sure it always spawns in front of you at some points like i did an error there so if it just spawned there it would suck so i'm going to leave an extra gap just in case you have to be careful here now because i've cut off the left side if i uh cut off the right side i'm just dead so yeah we could have got that power fruit if i skipped one but it's not really worth making a mistake this late might as well just take our time and go back around okay and one more and we can go to the bottom now So yeah, I think if you're like, you've never played like a snake game before, this might be difficult, but uh, I have uh, played a lot of snake games in my day. I'm not that old, I swear, but I have been playing this non-stop in testing mode, and oh boy, is it fun. Okay, go get that, and back down to the bottom. I made a little gap. It. That power fruit really sucks. The power fruit placement really, really sucks. There's no rush low for it. We can just take our sweet time. I think it's also like just worth practicing what you're better at. Are you worth? Are you? Are you better like snaking upwards? Or are you better snaking downwards? I think I'm better snaking down than I am up, but. Uh, I've kind of like positioned my Zulong in a pretty awkward spot if I want to reverse it now. Okay, we're gonna go the other way this time. Almost on a hundred. And back to the bottom. Ah, uh, that is very unfortunate. I gotta go in. I have to do an entire loop now just to get that one. go to the bottom now Ooh. okay we're almost late game strategy okay so so again i think early stage you just want to like start going for everything it doesn't really matter if you lose because you're like I haven't made that much progress yet but once you get to like 50 then i think it's time to start doing like the mid strategy mid tier strategy where you basically just want to leave like the bottom top left and right lines available just in case you make a mistake you can always like get out and you kind of also like loop back down to the top and bottom or the late game strategy low the strategy is basically just to take up every single gap. We don't want to leave any gap. So right now, um, you can see that it's like getting a little bit tougher to like do the snake because we're like kind of catching up to our uh, tail. So at some point, we're gonna want to start just taking up every single gap. We obviously want to leave like one of the sides unlocked flow so I can always snake back down to the bottom or top. Ah, 
Uh, I gotta do an entire loop now for that one. I rotated a little bit too early. It's fine, though. Okay, let's go get it. And yet, I could have, like, gone left one stage earlier, but we want to, like, make sure that, uh, we utilize as much of the map as possible, just so I have, like, even if I do make a mistake, it's a lot easier to manage it, because I've got more room to play with. So, yeah, basically. Gonna go left this time. Yeah, and it might be time for high round strategy now, basically, which is basically what I'm doing right now. We want to take up every gap except from one of the uh, the lines. I'm doing it a little bit early, though. There isn't like a need to do this, but I can just show you it now. That is unfortunate. But you you can miss stuff like that. It's fine. It just sucks if a power fruit spawns there. But yeah, that's basically the high round strategy or like the high level strategy. I think it's only really worth doing this strategy low when you get to like 125-ish. So yeah. The only stra the only like difficult part about this is it seems very easy, but one mistake is basically game over. I'm leaving myself nowhere to run. Yeah, let's go back to the mid strategy. Although, of course, we get a power fruit. Down in the bottom left, that sucks. Oh, we'll get it on the way down. So yeah, as you can see, like, the mid strategy now is, like, getting a lot more cramped, so we're gonna have to start doing the, uh, high round now. So yeah, it's basically just, like, trying to find out which, um, routing methods, which, like, snaking method you like more. Do you prefer, like, going up? Do you prefer going down? I prefer going down, so I probably should have, like, tried to position my snake for that. I, uh, didn't low. And as you can see, because I'm not leaving any gaps in my snake, it will always spawn in front of me. <coughs> There's a mock here. There's a mock here. So, like, those gaps are fine. Those gaps are, like, very dangerous, though. And I think I just, I just lost. I just lost, no! That's what I'm talking about. That one mistake is that's game. That is game. That's that's the like the high round strategy, like the high level strategy. It is very dangerous. If you make one mistake like I did here, game over. You can make the mistakes like lower down if you have room, but not up here. I didn't have enough room at all. Ooh. Read your question. I can't really read stuff whenever I'm playing this. That's the only issue. Which game is the best to get tickets? Uh, I actually don't know. Probably Rope, maybe? I mean, you only need level 100 for the saddle, for the mounts. Just ask Tiburdom to give you no clip. True, true, true. Uh, Skellix ability is basically Swift Swim for Soul Burst ability. Your speed is doubled in rain. Read your question. Type your question again, man. I don't see it. Um, let me scroll up a little bit. Um, I'm guessing it's what are the odds of the fossil legendaries? The fossil legendaries are like, we don't. I don't exactly know what the rarity of them is, but on average, it should take you like three or four batteries, basically. On average, it should take you like three or four batteries. Oh yeah, you can also use like a WASD keys or arrow keys, which 
whichever one you prefer. Try going up and down. I don't like going up and down. I prefer going just down. Like, yeah, you can, like, do the snaking, like, thing like this. I'm not a big fan of that, though. It doesn't feel... Like, my hands don't sit in a natural position to do that. Which is why I prefer going down. Oh yeah, you can also like pre-move. So if I press left, I can press down immediately after, and it will do like both of them in succession. I think you can only like pre-move or stack one move low, like one move in front. I think also players would probably love playing this minigame on both WASD and arrow keys. I don't like playing this minigame low with uh, both my hands. I just like using WASD with my left hands. That is rather unlucky. We got it, Lou. That is very unlucky. No! We got it. The pro pay pummel is easier mobile. Yeah. The only issue with the pro pay pummel is uh, you have to aim for the bottom of the pro pay. You can't just hit the pro pay anywhere. You specifically have to hit it on the bottom of this model. So just be aware of that. We're not at level 50 yet, so I can just go around and just eat all of them. We're not speedrunning right now. We're just trying to like get a nice level. I want to try and max it out low. That'd be nice. That is a very unfortunate position. I can grab it low. No few snakes. And then we can go down to the bottom again. Okay, and 50, we're at max speed. Okay, we can start going on to the uh, mid strategy now. Just stay in the middle. Ah, uh, that's a really... I, I almost went for it. I think I would have died if I went for that. Now I can get it low, because I can go all the way around, back to the top. That is unfortunate. We can grab it low. And we can grab that, and then we can go all the way to the bottom now. Just to clear up the mistake we made. Where's the museum? Uh, it's in the um, entertainment district. It's like across the road from Superwatch, I think. Damn it, I have to go around for that now. If I went for that, I would have just cut myself off. <laughs> we can go for it now, low. And then we gotta go all the way to the top. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna actually cut all the way to the bottom now as well. Ooh. And back to the top. Like these ones are nice. Because our snake isn't long enough so we can like screw ourselves over. So if it spawns at the top and bottom non-stop, we can just keep doing this now. Just gotta make sure we have enough room in the middle to like 
have our tail catch up to us. Like, this one is bad, but we can actually get it and go all the way around back to the top. We have enough room for it. And because our tail caught up, I can go all the way to the bottom. Make sure there's no gaps, so no power fruit can spawn in between me. Making it impossible for me to get. So the bottom, I'll do another couple of turns just to make sure I have enough room. I messed up. I went too early. I can't get that now. I have to wait until I go all the way around. I'm gonna take my time. No need to rush, especially this, like, somewhat late into the game. That is, uh, <laughs> very unlucky. We can go for it now, though. And then go all the way back to the top. Yeah, it definitely feels better going down from me. Like, snaking downwards just feels so easier than snaking upwards from me. That is cringe game. Why would you put the power fruit there? Why would you do it? I physically can't get that one yet. I can go for it now, low. Oh, we got double power fruit. Let's go. Let's look here. taking our time. We could definitely like speed this up a little bit, but nah, it's fine. We're fine. I don't really want to make any mistakes. Also, we're snaking upwards. I want to try and reverse this somehow. I, if I'm gonna, if I want to like reposition myself so I'm snaking downwards for like the late game strategy, we got to do it sometime soon. The longer I don't uh, switch, the more impossible it's going to be. Okay, I think I'm going to do it now. Go all the way around. This is how you reposition yourself so you can sneak it downwards now or upwards. You have to go basically like all the way around yourself before you get to like the mid parts. That sucks, but it's fine. It's fine. And because I can, we can just go up now. We're not really leaving ourselves with much room, but we have enough. Just gotta make sure that you're leaving yourself enough room if you uh, play en en enough. Like, if you're not like comfortable doing that, with, like, very little room, then don't worry about it. Just take your time. Like, yeah, there we could have, like, cut down to the bottom. Like, there we could go get that one, but nah. I'm gonna just set myself up now so I can just play the late game as comfortably as possible. Although my fingers are going numb. <laughs> Oh no. That placement kind of sucks, but we can grab it. I think I've got enough room, so I'm just going to put down, grab it, 
to another snake. Think of myself more room and back to the top. Okay, and we're over a hundred, so this is where you would get the mounts. Ooh. That is very unlucky. That one is basically impossible to get until uh, I can do an entire loop. But there's no need to rush for this. We can't go too soon. Otherwise, I'm just going to run into myself. We can do it now, though. We're actually getting really unlucky with these power fruit placements. They keep spawning like at the very opposite ends. Very, very annoying. That is very lucky, though. I do not mind. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> nice. I'll have to get this unfortunate. Glad a power fruit didn't spawn there, Lou. We're good. I keep missing, like, that last pixel, that last box. Back to the top. Not really leaving myself with much room. But because on the last rotation, we missed quite a lot of gaps. If I don't miss any gaps this time, it makes it so much easier. I missed a gap, so rip. hopefully Power Fruit doesn't spawn there. I'm going to be mad if it does. is fine up there. Don't mind, just gonna take my time. No need to rush for it. We're about to move on to the late game, low. Like, we're taking up like half of the board now, so I think it's time for end game, late game. We basically want to take up every gap but the right side or left side, depending how you're set up. I guess you could also like do the snaking strategy up and down instead of left to right. I prefer doing it this way low. And I prefer snaking downwards rather than upwards. But the idea is we want to take up every gap so the power fruit can't spawn like in the middle of us. And if we go all the way to the top, we'll always like take the same route now. Like here we could just do a quick skip. The issue now with that is we gotta do another one. The reason why we have to do another one is if you, we get to the bottom you'll see it will uh, make it so that we're still in line. Although we died. Frick. Damn it. I my not my, my pink my ring finger went numb. I had no feeling in my Ring finger for like half of that game. No! No! We'll take a low. I'm not even on the leaderboard anymore. Dang, Chris Super is on there. Dang. Oh, do we buff Glissade? Do you mean nerf it? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Okay. Let's give it one more attempt. Let's give it one more. If we don't get max score today on this in this run, I'm gonna do it off camera instead and just record it. Yeah, last run. I want one more. Okay, if I don't get it this one, I'm just gonna record it instead for a video. 
strongest air move it has is Cyclone. Uh, it should have Nosedive at level 50 or something. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it has Nosedive. Is it max score? Yep. The max score is taking up every single square. That's why it's, there's always going to be a max score for this. I guess we could technically make it so if you max out the entire boards, it resets your snake back to like starting snake, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I think having a max score is fine. Yeah, I think the max score is 250 low. Yeah, 250 is max score. I messed that up. I can grab it still low. Grab this. Any get more alpha than you Lumions yet? Yeah, probably people have already found them. I actually still gotta do mastery, I completely forgot about master. I completely forgot about the master. That is unfortunate. Good job, I left a gap on the right side in case I really needed it. That is... unlock it. I think I have enough- yeah, I've got enough room for it low now. I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. I just want to speedrun the first 50 levels. Maybe even like the first 75. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that and go all the way around. Dumb one to go for, I'm not gonna lie. That was really dumb. I'm gonna skip to. Never mind. I try skipping it, although muscle memory. to go grab it now. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. We're definitely like doing this one a lot faster. I want to go for that immediately, but I'm gonna wait for the top line to get cleared so I can just... Grab it and then go to the top. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Why is it all the way down there? Yeah, I messed up. I got greeder. I got greeder. For some reason, in my mind, I thought, yeah, I can get out of there. I cut myself off. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go do the mastery line. I'll worry about that for recording. It's a lot easier just to record it because I don't have to like talk. I can just stay silent like I did on the test server. Adding no long neck fossil to me should be a crime. Maybe later. Maybe later. Arachnesis Morphezu? No. Morphezu can't hit metal types. It should stay that way. <laughs> There should be like a nice safe switch in for um, Metal is fine. Metal is fine. Okay. What do I gotta do for the masters? 
What do I gotta do? You're just all experienced, right? Yes, easy. That one is easy. Have I already done them? Oh, I've, I've already done them. It's just the uh, titans I gotta do, Lun. Let me go get some power fruits. What's the best personality for the new Lumion? Uh, honestly, I think for all of the L new Lumions, you probably want Nimble or Smart or Brawny, depending which type of attacker it is. For the Nautic, like, Nautilings evolutions, probably just Smart or Brawny. Or maybe Brawny Sluggish, Smart Sluggish. And then for everything else, probably Nimble, all their attacking stat. I think it's just that simple for them. You could technically go, like, Clever on the Air Titan and Robust on the Earth Titan if you want a specifically, like, defensive version of it. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be, like, the mock. I feel like it's going to be uncommon. Can you send me the baby teen dino stats? I'm going to go see the finals. Oh, I never showed you the previews. Uh, sure. Let me go just finish the mastery for these. How do you get the titans? Once you will upgrade your UMV by doing like that little short like side quest type of thing, you will just unlock them in the wall. They're pretty rare, like fairly rare. On average, it should take you like every like every three or four batteries you spend. You should roughly get one of them. Bro can get 215 in Zulong, but can't get 250 strands of hair in his head. What the heck, man? Wait, it's gonna be like focus for the Zulong game, which is kinda hard to do on stream. I got freaking bright ass lights shining in my face. And then I got like chat as well. There's a lot of things distracting me. Is that enough? I might have gone overkill. That probably is overkill. <laughs> oh, whoops. He spent 30 batteries but no titan. That's just unlucky, Lun. You too, Foon. Doesn't have nosedive. Oh, I thought you were talking about... um The air titan. Ew, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Uh, what am I looking for again? An air melee move? Okay. Hex, air headbutts, augment, cyclone slam, slash shop, and air blood perch, body slam, near enchantment, shop. Oh my gosh, I didn't give it nosedive, did I? <laughs> oh no, I, I didn't give it freaking nosedive! Who oh, no. knew? Oh no. I will quickly make that a rally move. How did I forget about Nosedive? I was probably meant to make it a rally move and then I just completely forgot. Um, And then I'll give the Toxic one being full bash. Okay. Uh, You probably saw Nosedive on the Air Titan. I'm pretty sure the Air Titan has Nosedive level 50. To be honest, I think I read the Air Titans level up moves, and I assumed that was the Air Dino, which is why the Air Dino didn't get nosedive. Okay, well, I'll have t -Bridem, like do a quick shut, not a shutdown, uh, update my documents, and uh, yeah, I'll be in updated servers. That might not be today, that might be like tomorrow or something now.
But oops. Yeah, I completely forgot about that move. Oh no. Can you please tell me the Titans level up moves? Uh, Titans? Let me check. Okay. Um. Morfezu gets Expert Onslaught, Stair, Gust, Air Whip, Eerie Stair, Cyclone Slam, Power Focus, Headbutt, Air Blade, Slumber, High Pitch Screech, Nosedive. Behemoroth gets Expert Onslaught, Stair, Burrow, Quicksand, Eerie Stair, Play Slap, Power Focus, Headbutt, Mudslide, Slumber, High Pitch Screech, Earthquake. Leviatros gets Expert Onslaught. Stare, Soft Water, Water Bomb, Eerie Stare, Aqua Jaws, Power Focus, Headbutts, Maroon, Slumber, High Pitch Screech, Wave Wrecker. The Rally Moves. Oh, the Rally Moves now. Uh, For the Rally Moves for the Titans, Morfezu gets a Jet Stream, Metal Blast, Primal Slash, Shrew Blast, Psycho Blasts. Behemoth gets Landslide, Driving Force, Primal Slash, Rude Blast, Timber Thrash. The Viatross gets Spectral Burst, Phantom Slash, Primal Slash, Shrew Blast, Dark Surge, Mega Chomp. I got hiccups so bad. Like, if you'd like to be doing this, it's because I have freaking hiccups and I can't stop. Also, I think something flew into my eye. It's been hurting now for a while. Why didn't you give Falcon Metal Blast by level up? Uh, I don't think Metal Blast existed back when the game first released. That's probably why, I think, maybe. So that's why you got it as a rally move. I think Metal Blast was introduced with Stratosaur, wasn't it? I think. Maybe. What was Solber Skellix ability supposed to be? Um, Basically, Swiss Swim. If Heavy Rain is active, double speed. Double your speed. It's called Rain Rush. I just checked because I completely forgot what the name of it is called. Rain Rush. It should be in the game for newer servers. Um, It might not be worth trying to use Solbus Skeletal for a couple of days just to make sure that... uh. PvP servers get updated. Also, I am actually falling asleep. I am so tired. My eyes are like watering now, just non stop. Deladrix. Yep, Deladrix and Solbus Skellic is going to be a nice combo. The only issue is we don't really like have weather abilities yet. They're not in the game. So the only way to set rain up is to use Deladrix with the move which isn't very good so I think if you're going to try and like use Skellic right now I think the strategy is to use Bezeldu give Bezeldu the weather move and then give it zip zap so you can be a slow zip zapper into your Skellic I think that's the only way to really use it right now to be honest and honestly, I don't think I even have a up-to-date bezel do, so I'm going to have to go and get one of those. What am I doing? Master it. But yeah, what do you guys think about the uh, new Titans Len? Let me put a poll in chat. Start a poll. Which is your favorite Titan? Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have no freaking idea how to spell these guys' names. Leviat... Lev... Iatros? Behemoth... And... Morfezu. Okay, there we are. Which is your favorite? I like all of them. I think... It slightly goes for like Leviatros. Her Titan was a disappointment. What do you mean? What do you mean, like moves, moves wise? I mean, yeah, they can't hit metal ties, but. And. And. It has like some pretty good coverage, though. Mindless, it hits toxic types. I mean, Brawler doesn't really matter. 
Uh, metal lets you hit like light types, ice types, primal is whatever. Uh, like no primal, ancient is whatever. Ancient isn't like super great unless you're specifically just going for spirit or ancient coverage, I guess. But it's not super great. I like the humor off, but I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of biased to closer drops. That's fair. That's fair. Yep, I just said all of Lorelei moves Pika like a couple of times. I'll probably make videos low, like everything you need to know about them later on. I'm probably going to uh, sleep first, and then when I wake up, I'll do videos. Because, oh boy, I need some sleep. So yeah, I think tomorrow I'll probably do all the videos, like how to get them all. And what they all do. Let me quickly finish Mastery. And then also tomorrow, I will maybe gamer hunt some of them. Maybe. How many levels do I need? Is that enough? Nope. Okay, so maybe five more levels. Is that it? Got it? Nice. Yeah. Can you show me the Uller Nautling? Sure. Give me a second. Which, which is the Uller Nautling evolution, by the way? Because it's two. Which, which one are you talking about specifically? Like, the Uller could mean any of them. Okay, Leviatross is actually people's favorite? Dang, I'm actually surprised. I thought people would enjoy the bird more. The bird is a fairly close second low. Surprised, like, nobody, like, not that many people seems to really like, uh, Vicky Muroff. Like, I'm, I guess it's like, I guess this is the most alien looking one. Oh, yeah, by the way, all of these are eyes. So they all have, like, multiple eyes. They look like Ola World. Frozen Grass? No, he's Earth. He's the Earth Titan, not Grass Titan. Although he does get Earth Titan moves. He does get Timber Thrash. Is that all of the mastery done now? I think it might be. Yep, that is all of the masteries done. Nice. Love to see that. Okay, nice. I think I'm gonna end the stream off here, Len. I'm gonna go to sleep. Whew. I, I have actually streamed basically the exact same amount of time that I've actually got sleep. So no, nice. Nice. I'm gonna go catch up on a lot of needed sleep. So I will see you big noobs tomorrow.